Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Tungans and Droids, Kiarimundi Coneheads, Egg-Headed Grand Inquisitors that drive people up the walls on Twitter. Welcome to the biggest and deadliest Star Destroyer this galaxy has ever seen, hosted by yours truly, the Grand Admiral, director of the video gaming division, here at the Galactic Empire, home of the Kai for a couple of months, 25 for one extra, one extra day at partying, huh? King of cosplay that's better than Disney Triple B costumes. In a few short moments, we're gonna be on the holo table. And I'm inside my meditation chambers because I don't know about you, I'm feeling a, I'm feeling a certain energy in the air. I feel like I'm gonna rage, and I feel like I'm gonna rage hard today. You wanna know why? It's because I'm bringing Lord. No, no, Gary, no. Oh, don't tell me you're offended by my take on the Inquisitor. Too. No, Gary, oh, Gary. Roy, open it up. Override his controls. Goodness, some people are just way too sensitive about a differing opinion. On a Star Wars trailer, <laughs> can't you just accept? Can't you just like the trailer? Can you just like, can you just like stop? No, Gary, I'm not gonna stop. Because the second you settle, a mediocrity, meritocracy's out the window, Gary. Anyways, we're in the meditation chamber because in a few short moments, we're going on the hollow table. We got a grand arena. And we're bringing Lord freaking failure on offense. Why? Because I'm sick of the guy sucking on defense. Let's try to bring him on offense once in a blue moon. And at the very minimum, you'll see me turn blue. And I'll probably have a better skin texture uh, and more of a skin tone. That looks better than the new Inquisitor coming to the Kenobi show. But anyways, how are you guys doing? What? What's that? Hold on. Gary, what are they saying? No, Gary. Gary, I swear. No, Gary. Where, where are you? Gary! Stop! Stop it! All right, we're getting out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Droids, while Gary is uh, forcefully holding me detained in my own meditation chambers, please make your way on over to the Kyber Club. They want a Wonga. They want a Wonga. I want a Wonga. He, she, it wants the Wonga. Meet me over there, I'll like, figure a way out of here. Don't you worry about me, worry about your family, worry oh, about your God. loved ones, because Gary overriding my commands is a pretty He's scary day. Back. No, Gary, no! No! Over here! Over here! Gary! Kyle Smith, and now the We got Cornet 
Michael Chan. David Mars, Tickle Party of Lord Vader. Oh, you better believe it. Tyler McIntosh coming in from Zan. 20 Australian buckaroonies. Love the Vader's year. Such nice entertainment after a long day's work. Great to hear, my friend. Hopefully, all is well from where you are. Turn that frown upside down, or maybe it's turn that smile upside down. I don't know how it works in Australia. I hear everything's upside down over there. We got Rich Homie. Laquan. What a fun How are you doing, buddy? I'm in the OR right now. What? And now open the stream and heard, ladies and gentlemen, Gunky the Drive and the Surgeon said, what is that? Tell them you're about to blow their minds. You're about to put a certain transmission, a frequency that they've never heard before. The amount of decibels that we output here is probably more than YouTube should allow on the platform. So Rich Home Naquan, start them young so they can adapt or they might have to die. I can't guarantee the last part, but just take it for what it is. Who else do we got here? Who else is in my Kyber Cup? We have Lester Hillman, new member to the Kyber Cup. Thank you so much, my friend. And Rosani Major, two months to the Kyber Cup VIP Plus program. What do you think we're going to get tomorrow? Ooh, we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> Max Alexander, two months. Hopefully, Lord Baylor doesn't suck today. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up, bud. We got Rager Red, new member of the Comic Cup program. Thank you so, so, so much. We have one brain cell gaming saint. <laughs> Love that. The Empire. Gracias, senor. Mucho gusto. I don't know. Muchas gracias. Not mucho gusto. You idiot, Gary. What is with you today? Messing up my teleprompter. Bell Tiger, $10. We're going to go on a rant on that. I just. I, it's a, it's a constructive criticism rant of people that should have their internet privileges revoked and constructive criticism of Disney. You know, constructive. Riley Romeus, new member to the Comic Code program. How we doing? Safari Bro, 12 months. Smash that like button. Let's do this, Admiral. Yeah! Thank you, Safari Bro, for rounding up the truths. 12 months. Holy cow. And then we got Sam Pakula for the $2. Happy Friday, 4 a.m. from Japan. Jay, man. Up nice and early. We're on that Sigma male grind. Cold showers in the morning. Two minute slumbers. Man, that's how I like to hear it, Sam. Hope you're doing all right out there. We got Owen Cummings again. New member to Kyber Club Elite Program. My, my, my goodness. The title looks good on you. And then we have M1 Kevin with the two Canadian buckaroonies. Have a great stream. How about this? Have a great life. Get on over here, everyone. I'll meet you back over on the command station. Let's see if you guys can keep up with me. It's okay if you guys can't. I am kind of uh, the fastest hand out here. I'll see you guys over there. All right, calm down, calm down. How we do? Oh, can you can you feel it in the air? Lord Vader on offense. Oh man, I'm telling you, this is gonna be a grand arena like none of that you've seen. We've uh. <laughs> I had to take a long, hard look at Lord Vader and just accept that you're trash. And I've accepted that a long time ago, but it was just kind of a reminder to Lord Vader, you're trash. What do I do with you? So today we're going to try bringing him on the offensive. And basically what I'm going to do is just hit auto and hopefully in a span of five minutes, he can hit for more than 5,000 damage and maybe kill someone off. You know, we'll have to have to wait and see. But how about we answer that question we had earlier on in regards to Androzani Major with their two months membership renewal. What do you think we're going to be getting tomorrow? So, allegedly, uh, I don't think Kainzy confirmed that anything was happening. Um, but, you know, there was kind of this, oh, this aura. It's like, oh, I don't know. I don't think nothing's going to happen, but you're going to want to be there. And, you know, the community's kind of, you're like, okay. Uh -huh. You see what you're doing? Uh, so the word on the street is speculation that something uh, is going to happen tomorrow. Not sure how big we're talking, but it's something of no from what people are speculating right now. Uh, my guess and hunch is maybe the next Inquisitor. That's kind of my hunch right now. Now that the Kenobi trailer rolled out and the announcement came out yesterday, I have a feeling we're going to see... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the new uh, Reva, I believe her name was, the new Inquisitor. 
uh, maybe the fifth brother that we saw in the trailer, uh, or uh, the Grand Inquisitor potentially sometime down the road. Oh, I don't know if I want to go on a whole rant on it. Someone fix the Grand Inquisitor's head into it. All right, okay, you know what? Okay. I'm going to ask the Kyber Club because you guys are obviously the most scientific audience to possibly ask. Your opinion obviously reflects the, the opinion of the masses. What do you think? Live action. Hold on. Of the... Uh, what do you think of the live action? All right. Okay. Uh huh. One more. Let's do another option here. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, maybe we should do one more. Okay, we're putting out a poll to the Kyber Club Council. Most thick, uh, democratic, the, mo the wisest, smartest people I think I've ever come across in my tenure here of, uh, I think Google said, what, like 52 years? I think that's what they think my age is. I'll let you guys vote before I, I start spilling some beans. In a second. I, I need to compose myself because I think we're gonna be exerting a lot of brain power that normally I don't like to exert, but we're gonna have to today. Uh, okay, Thrills of the 199, they're thinking Galactic Legend, Babu Frick, you know what, at this point, it's gonna happen. Babu Frick, obviously Galactic Legends here, uh, without a doubt in my mind. So uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. You know, maybe that's the uh, announcement for tomorrow. Daniel Engel, two Canadian bacon. Can you do an impression of Jar Jar farting into his mouth? Oh, man. That's just a little specific there. Hmm, farting into mouth. It's so, like into his own mouth because I'd be very impressed if he managed the flexibility to curvature his back into his mouth. Like, that would be quite talented. I know gungs are pretty flexible. Misa, that's, that's, that's the best I can probably give you there. I, I think the first rip into the mouth would probably knock him dead. I'm not going to lie. If we're assuming it's going to be him farting into his own mouth. But I need more specifics on the details there. Uh, Nicholas Costa, $5. Are you going to make a free-to-play SLK event guide? Yes, I will, because there's not a lot of updated guides on YouTube anymore. All the guides on YouTube, including my own, are before they buff, indirectly buff the event. So we definitely will be updating uh, our guide, and we're very close. Uh, thanks to Conquest and my hoarded-up currency. We got a ton of Electrum Conductors, and I dispensed all my crystals I had left over, and we got 10 Electrum Conductors out of the 500 crystal pack. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we are, I believe, 30 Electrum Conductors away to get start working on Supreme Leader Kyle Runs Unlock. So we are so close. We're so close, baby. So yes, we will be updating that. Uh, Sealoth, four months. Kyber Club, no change to the tie echelon. Come on, CG! Uh, we're going to have to see how that pans out today. We are definitely doing a lot of stuff off the beaten path, but knowing CG, they're not gonna they're not gonna like what they're gonna see. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how that pans out. Uh, remember, we have Rich Homie the Quan. How are we doing, my man with the plan? I don't think you're from Japan, but it rhymes. Would you buy those expensive Star Wars Legos? LOL. Which ones are we talking about? The ones that are like 500 to 1,000? No, I'd rather just look at a picture and be like, oh, that's cool. Where the heck am I gonna put that around? Anything I like, I have a little display by little, I got little action figureheads, you know? I got the Vader, I got Gary, I got Boba. Uh, I want to get the Mandalorian ones. Like, all right, 20, 30 bucks, whatever it is, okay. But yeah, that's a little, a little out of my price point and storage point. But they, they're cool to look at, don't get me wrong. And then we have Will G, $10. 30 minutes stall today, minimum. Lord Vader, please don't let us down again and bring up Babu. That on the, that's a, uh, that's a Bob answer. I, I can't answer the Babu thing. If Bob says it's okay, it's going to happen. If Bob's not here, I can't do it. That's just how it is. Uh, we have Ice Age Fighter, five euros. How we doing? I got a new job today until school starts. I'm working on JMK as my first GL. I have a five-star watch. So see you in one year. Can we max up the volume? Bigger drop. Ah, you got it. I, I can make it half for you. I'm feeling in, I'm feeling a pretty good mood besides the Lord Vader thing that we're about to run into today. Uh, we got Sea Chef Fly, two dollars. Make a Bobo Frick. Hey, hey. Airhorn. Okay. Gary added to the list. He's 
this, this guy, man, I, I, th I never took you as a softie. Uh, he's mad at me today. It's like I, I can't say one. I can't, I can't give any minor criticisms on anything Star Wars related, at least in Gary's eyes. Ah, uh, misdemeanor school. Uh, how we doing? With a ten dollars, your wamp that he saved my GAC. No kidding. I forgot. How do you forget you put an Omicron on the guy? It's, you, only, it only, you only do like what? One Omicron a month, if that. <laughs> Wampa all of souls and peril chips. Now that is nasty. That is absolutely nasty. Fantastic to hear. Wampa's doing great stuff. I'm just holding off. I want to see what the news is this week in case they maybe announce an Omicron or a new character has a fantastic Omicron. There's no reason for me to apply it now because I can't use it this cycle. So next week, if I'm not impressed with what happens tomorrow, uh, you know. I might be applying it from next week because I have a relegate Wampa. We got to take advantage of it. It's going to happen at some point. It's just a matter of I need to make sure I have one in the bank and I got one for some fun. Uh, Koops, 9905 is putting Grand Inquisitor and Kenobi was a six head move. I don't even know if his head was, I don't even, I don't even know if it was a six head. It was more like a four head that we saw there. Uh, don't get me started yet. I'm waiting for the, the last, uh, the last second votes to come in. I actually, uh, it's kind of actually panning out like I was expecting. Very divisive, very divisive. So this is actually quite interesting. That's why I said you guys are representative of the entire Star Wars audience out there. Benjamin Tech, 16 months. Kenobi trailer looks good, but so did the trailer for Star Wars Holiday Special. I'm excited for Kenobi, don't get me wrong. Sometimes, okay, hold on. We're gonna just hold on, hold on. Don't, do, let's put the reins on, let's hold it back, put the blinders on, let's finish catching up the super chats before I start getting into a, a whole, uh, a whole ish. Uh, Lord Chuckle, 17 months, GL Babu freaking GL Darth Jar Jar for light side, dark side balance. Um, when? That's the question I have. When? Question mark, confirmed, question mark, exclamation mark, Lord Chuckle. I like where your mind is at. I like where it's at. We have Chimi9. How we doing? Good luck. Three or one or four and oh today. Talking about me. I mean, I'm undefeated, my man. I don't know what's wrong with the leaderboards. Everyone else has lost the Grand Arena except me. I don't know why they haven't developed a new rank just for me. Something's wrong with the game, Chimmy. Hopefully all is well with you, though. Uh, we got Dame uh, Simono. $2. Have more collectibles besides those in your desk. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got, a, I got a good chunk. Right now, they're in a variety of boxes because uh, no sense in bringing them out when I got to put them back away with all the renovation stuff I'm doing, but I do have a bunch of stuff. Uh, Dane, uh, I already got you, Dane. Uh, we'll be back, Sir Alexander. We're going to do two more, and then we're going to... Just, just a, 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 a light-hearted conversation for Star Wars. Inter interwebbers. <sighs> Baxter Alexander, 499. All Lord Failure jokes aside, you might be able to take on a full squad of younglings. Well, give it to me. Give me a full squad of younglings so I can really test him through his paces. Unfortunately, all the teams he's got to face are at least good, and he's, uh, he's bringing a C team to an A team sometimes, it feels like. The Nicholas Costa, $2. Can you remod Wampa on stream? Uh, I'm moving mods around lately, so there's no point in remodding it now. Because um, I've been I've been moving mods around a lot lately for a variety of stuff. So I, if I put mods, then I'm going to end up ripping it off anyways. They won't be the same mods by next week. But next week, we'll end up doing it. Uh, Daniel Ingalls, they, they, they want me to fart. If I if I build one up for you, I'll make it happen. But the, I, I hate they say it. Uh, I don't do number ones. I don't do number twos. I don't pass. I'm literally a perfect being. Why do you guys think I never take I never take bathroom breaks on stream? Because I don't need to. Best guard bladder, that's all you gotta need. So, but if I build, if I see, if Gary has one, I'll put it in a jar and send it over to you. How does that sound, Daniel? All right, so looking at the poll, we got 1.2 billion votes in the chat. Uh, very representative, very scientific of the entire Star Wars base. So far we're looking at, in this question I post, what do you think of the Grand Inquisitor look? By now, I'd say a, probably a grand majority of you guys have probably seen it at this point. Grand Inquisitor trailer in the Kenobi surprise. And I gotta say, at the minimum, no matter where you are, right, left, middle on this topic, the memes are golden. The memes are so good. They're so dang good. And if you guys haven't, I just encourage you just to go. Go out there in the internet wilderness, Grand Inquisitor memes. Oh my goodness. My favorite one was just seeing a pack, a 12 pack of eggs with just little Inquisitor heads in there. But so far we're looking at 28% uh, of the 1.3 billion say it looks good. Cool. 32% says looks bad. 30% are like indifferent. I'm gonna watch it no matter what. Eh, it is what it is, I don't, I don't care that much. And 10% of you guys have not seen the trailer yet. So kind of what I was expecting, I was kind of expecting a bit of a divide here. And I wanna make it clear, there's, there's, we have, there's this thing to the internet. I took like a two week break off Twitter because 
you know, the people I want to talk to, you guys are here already, right? I talk to you guys all the time. Twitter, it's like, I don't want to, I don't care about all these other people that I don't follow. They show up in my feed. It's like, who asked for your opinion? <sighs> Twitter's a weird place. But anyways, I come out. I retweet. Hey, look. I, like, after I took like a two-week break on Twitter, I come back saying, hey, look, Kenobi's coming. And then we, I, then, I, uh, then the trailer came out a couple hours later. It's like, oh, my gosh. People act like you just disgraced their mother on the internet. <laughs> it's like, you know, whatever happened to a discourse being okay, you know, some criticisms, constructive criticism, mild complaints. <gasps> oh, you just lied it! Can't you just like Star Wars? Gah! It's like, who? Okay. You know, it's like those are the people that are like, have you looked in the mirror? It's okay that, you know, we don't fully embrace every little thing. It's like when I went to school, I wasn't expecting a teacher to give me an A+. Plus. If literally the last paragraph is me just smashing keys, it's like, oh, you did a good job. No, the last part was crap. It's okay to say it was crap. You could do better. There's nothing wrong with saying that. Now, for those that take it to the extreme, they act like it's the end of Star Wars. All right, you guys are going a little too far. So they're like, there's, there's always extremes going on. But for me personally, it's like, okay, they could have done better. I've seen better Grand Inquisitor cosplays on the internet. It felt a little low budget to me. And it didn't feel like a Disney thing. And usually a lot of their live action stuff, they, it doesn't bother me. Like Cad Bane took it and was like, oh, okay, I kind of, it's all right. I kind of, I kind of like it. Uh, what else? Ahsoka Tano was weird singer in live action for the first time, but I didn't dislike it. This one stood out for me. It's like, okay, come on. Now, now you guys are pushing it a little too far. You guys could do better. And then people are like, <laughs> well, you can't just expect them to get the animated series right to the live action. It's like, no, kid. There's this movie, the greatest movie of all time. If you're wrong, you're wrong. Episode three, Revenge of the Sith Kenobi. Looks like he's getting a tank of gas. He sees the guy had some bad teeth. He probably hasn't been to the dentist in a while. Yes, that was the same species as the Grand Inquisitor. Holy cow, what was that movie, 2005? Man, they nailed it. Those things are kind of scary and they weren't even opposing Kenobi. They're trying to give him the heads up. It's like, man, there's this crazy metalloid monstrosity down below. Second level, he's like, thanks. It's like, did people not forget? I, I mean, this is coming from one that dresses up in Beskar Crocs and the Grand Admiral Director uniform here. So it takes one to know one when a cosplay feels a little off. For me, it's intentional. It's a parody. Unless you're trying to parody your own show, you, you could do better. It's like, you guys could take the 2005 work and bring it to the 2022 work. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? What's wrong with it? Okay, firstly, again, look at the episode three. You got yourself a nice, slim, tall head. Whereas this guy, I, I'm sure he's, I'm sure they're gonna do well with the role. I felt a little too much Emperor Palpatine vibe with their talking, but whatever. A little too much of an egg-shaped head. It just felt, it feels like, you know, Star Wars Celebration. Like, if this was Star Wars Celebration, cool. You did a good job. It's not bad. I can't expect you to fix your head. Disney's not paying you a couple mil to play the role. You don't have a full VFX team. You don't got a makeup team. It still looks damn good. But when you're talking about a franchise that's made billions, a billions of dollars, they're selling you hotel $6,000 for two days. You're telling me this is the best that you can do. This is the very best you can do, Disney. Now, again, I like the trailer. I'm really excited for Kenobi. The music had me melted in my seat. I was irked when they released the trailer literally after my video. So if I released the trailer reaction, just cannibalized that video. It was just one moment that took me out. Just because we have a little disagreement on something doesn't mean I hate Star Wars. Oh, you're so toxic. It's like, no. We don't need to live in a world, in a galaxy, where we need to have this 100% affinity. You need to fully embrace anything. And if you say anything that's mildly, criti uh, mild mildly critical, you're toxic. Can you stop complaining? You're just being a whiny bee. That's the problem I have with sometimes. We used to be in this world where constructive criticism is good. It moves us forward. And I want to, do you guys ever see this? You saw the Sonic trailer, right? When it first came out, absolute trash. And then you got the people saying, oh, can you guys just stop whining? They're so toxic. Why do you always got to hate? You know what they did? Big shot. I think it was Paramount, right? Dang, they took that criticism 
Holy cow, they nailed it. They, they fixed Sonic, he looked great. Now I have a conspiracy theory that <laughs> the, 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 the Sonic was meant to be ugly to kind of garner some social interaction to get people hyped about it. Uh, but that's a side point. Let's assume that's not true. It's like, imagine if we didn't criticize it. The Sonic wouldn't have been nearly as good. It just wouldn't. So there's nothing wrong with giving criticisms and not fully embracing something. I mean, here's a funny story. You know, last year, if you guys have been looking for houses, man, we looked for, me and the lady at Starshire are looking for our first place. And the housing market's crazy, but I think I thought I found the perfect place. 15 acres, almost middle of nowhere, farm right next door, but you know, it's, it's at least 100 yards plus away. Frickin' forest in the backyard that leads to a lake. Frickin' Kylo, he'd be in heaven. He'd go, boom, he's out. Would he come back? I don't know, but at least I know he's having a good time. I was so close, this close to having my little slice of paradise. What was wrong? Even though I loved it, there was one thing that I just threw me off. That farm 100 yards away, it was a cow farm. And the house is downwind. Oh, that whole house, it's reeked like cow manure. Look, can you just stop being whining and just like the house for what it is? It's like, no, I don't want to wake up with fresh scents of cow shit. I'm sorry. So this is what I'm trying to get at. It's okay that we have mild nitpicks and criticisms. That's what pushes people forward. Because if you just keep settling for this mediocrity, guess what? They're going to keep selling you that mediocrity. Because like, hey, these people, they're going to keep watching it. They're going to keep buying our merch. They're going to go on the $6,000 hotel cruise with the Fisher Price computers everywhere. <laughs> no, it's okay. Listen, they're selling you a product. Disney doesn't need your unending loyalty. Just because it's Star Wars, you don't need to start an army. Stop criticizing. No, it's okay. You're not going to hurt Walt Disney's feelings. I promise you. He's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Will they be fix this stuff in time? I don't know. But I just, what I'm getting at is I'm not comparing what I saw at the Grand Inquisitor to the animated series. That's unfair. That, that would be completely unfair. It's like, do you really expect the Dooku look from the animated series to look like, <laughs> to look like that in real live action? No. You ever see Kenobi in the animated series and the original Clone Wars 2003 series? Yeah, it's kind of a little unrealistic to expect the real person to look like that. I'm sure that could be affects it. There's a, there's a point where it's understandable, but the Grand Inquisitor is not a human male species. It's a unique species of its kind. And I'm comparing what I saw to what they did in 2003. And in 2003, as we went through that long rant, they did a pretty darn good job. So that's what I'm comparing it to. One thing I hate is when I look in the past, especially of big works like that, it's like, what happened? You guys did a good job. But you, do you not watch your own stuff? And little things like that, sometimes, you don't want to judge a book by its cover, of course, but things like that, it's a judgment call. And sometimes you question, oh boy, if they, can't, if they, had a, if they for some reason thought this is okay, it makes you a little concerned about what the bigger picture might be. So again, I'm excited for Kenobi. I'm rooting for it. I loved it. It was just that 5% of the Grand Inquisitor, the first time seeing it in a live action format. And we know they've nailed the species in the past. They could do better. Are they gonna be able to fix it in two months? I don't know. The world of VFX uh, and a couple billions of trillions of dollars, whatever Disney's got, I would think it's not impossible, but just wanna remind people, it's okay to have a healthy debate. Both ways in the extreme is not good. It's not the end of Star Wars and people aren't toxic and the worst people of all time because they just wanna point out that they could do better at something. So that's my TED talk. Thank you for coming out. It's, it was great seeing you. And of course, it's great to be in the empire today. All right, Gary, you can end the stream. Oh, we got to play. Okay, we're going to play some Grand Arena. But anyways, that's just, um, yeah, that just, just a mild little thing I just want to bring up. You know, I don't get with all the, the crazy hubbub, but that's just me. Yeah, and the eyes, don't give it, yeah, the eyes too. Yeah, it just, again, it just, it felt like a, a poor... Again, it would be a cool cosplay if it was like my brother, who's in my parents' basement, not a dime to his name, went to Star Wars Celebration, I'd be like, dude, you look great. When you're, when you're in a high budget TV show, one of the most popular franchises of all of history, known around the world, heck, they even heard about Star Wars in the 1200s, that's how big it was. You expect a little bit more. So that's what I'm trying to get at. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying.
But anyways, that's the end of my TED talk right there. That's all I'm trying to put out there. Is that it's okay. It's okay. <sighs> now, where was I? Oh, Chimi, this is you? It's me, sins of the father. Good. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Well, what, are, you, are you like Fatal where you can't have the same name? It's like I have to keep calling him Fatal Playbook. And maybe he's got like 500 other nicknames out there. There we go. So we have Chimi in the chat. They are our opponents. Sins of the father. I had no idea. That I forgot. It's been so long since we played against you, Sins of the father. Way, way, way too long. So it's great seeing it. But that's probably why I forgot that. You, I know. I remember your name, Chimi. I just forgot that you're Sins of the father as well. So it's great seeing it. We have Lucas Sosa. Six months, me after watching the trailer. Kenobi! People are asking, is Darth Maul, is Maul going to show up? I, I, I don't think Maul's going to show up, even though they played Duel of the Fates. I mean, you got to keep in mind, Duel of the Fates isn't just Maul's song. It's a Maul and Kenobi song, because, again, it's Duel of the Fates. Uh, it's just like, you know, the Battle of the Heroes. It's not Anakin's song. It's an Anakin and Obi-Wan song. So I, it would be cool if Maul showed up, but based off the fact that in Rebels, it appeared that was the first time Maul has seen Kenobi since the Clone Wars. I don't suspect we're going to see anything like that, but that would be pretty darn cool. Uh, David Kelly, 4 foot or 9. I remember when Ryan Johnson was supposed to be writing and directing his own Star Wars trilogy. What happened? That's another thing, too. It's like, it's okay to point out critics, like even the sequels, man. It's like, yeah, some of them weren't my favorite movies of all time, but if you loved it, cool. But it's okay to point out criticisms and errors of it, just like people point out the... the you kidding me? As a prequel lover, I am. I know all the issues of the show, the cringy lines, the dialogue. But you know what? I like it. If you don't like it, that's fine. And if I hear your complaints about it, and it's valid. It's okay to have valid criticisms and complaints. But yeah, that's uh, the Star Wars show. That's another such a touchy, uh, such a touchy, touchy topic. There. You don't just need the unending loyalty. You have to love Star Wars. If it's not a hundred percent, you're a horrible fan. You're the problem with the fan base. It, like there's this extremism that comes along with it. It's okay. Jeez, it's okay. Uh, Anthony Ford, but Disney's unending loyalty. <laughs> there we go, Anthony. Thanks for that 409. But Disney's unending loyalty about this bug and won't be fixed until the next meta is released. Isn't that hilarious how that works? See, Marvel Strike Force, I know you guys care about bugs. We had a, a, almost a game breaking bug that was there for two years. And the only reason why they fixed it finally is because they wanted to sell the bigger and better toy that was meant to beat it and they can't have the bug in place. That's probably the longest actual gameplay breaking bug I've ever seen in a game in my life. Two years plus. Took them to fix that. <laughs> it, was just, it was funny how quiet it was. He was like, all right, we got to fix this. Just <laughs> Let's not make a big uh, fuss about this either. And then Brian Hur, uh, one more thing, $5. My only problem is it's the hypocrisy. Many people killing the Inquisitor, which is okay, by the way. Would admit that Luke CJ Mando season two is horrible, uh, horrific. Uh, yeah, Mando, the Luke CJ felt a bit off. I felt like they, they improved that, I believe, in the book of Boba Fett. Yeah, so... The CJ was definitely off in Mando season two. I said, there's a lot of things that were off, but it's not, it wasn't for me. It wasn't like, it wasn't an offensive off. Like the Grand Inquisitor, I was like, okay, that's a, you're kind of now, you're pushing it a little too far for me. But the Luke thing, it wasn't perfect. I remember seeing someone did it better on YouTube. I think they actually hired those people. They actually improved upon it. And in uh, Book of Boba Fett, I, well, I shouldn't be spoiled, but we're many weeks past it at this point. Uh, Luke looked a bit better in there not perfect but it looked better uh, it looked a bit better i feel like his dialogue was a bit flat in book of boba fett you're the you're the problem with the fan base arnold it's like okay i'm sorry let me just keep let me stay in my lane and play my video game let's speak of that why don't we go ahead and hop over to the hollow board here man that was definitely a longer rant than i expected on that i was just it was, just a, it was a light-hearted discussion that's all uh, let's get on over to the hollow board here and take a look at what we have i i feel like an idiot that chimi sins in the father i we played like many, many, many moons ago. So I had completely forgot that you were that person, my friend. All right, hollow board presentation. I bet Chimi was a little surprised that we didn't have Lord Vader on defense. Take a look at the hollow board, my friend. I'm going to leave the poll up for a little bit. I want to get more input on the two point. Man, two billion votes. Man, talk about a interesting topic that we have here. It's funny how. I mean, that's what I think that's actually the coolest thing about it. We have so many passionate people with different perspectives like wouldn't the, wouldn't the galaxy be a pretty boring place if everyone had the same opinion we like the same stuff we eat the same stuff you know it's like i mean we all know that everyone loves me like that's okay but like i don't know it's like for me i i enjoy i enjoy how everyone's got a different take on things like i hate lord vader and i'm probably gonna remind myself why i hate him some people love him cool as long as you as long as you're happy that's fine 
But anyways, give a nice round warm applause to Sins of the Father, aka Chimmy. We played him a long time ago before these changes happened. Good opponent. They know their stuff. Consistently putting up high scores. But here's the problem. They weren't placing themselves against me the past couple months. They're back in my Grand Arena Coliseum. They're playing under my rules. None of this Swoga rules stuff. And they're waiting. They want to see how the rest of this pans out. We're going to squeeze them for banners. And we've already have Chimi. I'm coming for you straight for the jugular. Here we go. Let's take a look and see how they operated around my defense. And I mix things up because consistently one of the biggest weaknesses in my defense is, and it's sad to say it's Lord Vader. It just has been. I look through the history, people sending in budget teams. Heck, I think Mob Enforcer made their way through. It's getting bad, guys. It's getting bad out there. Lord Vader, he's crying. I don't know what to tell this kid at night when he comes home. It's like, just stop sucking. You know what? It's okay to suck too sometimes. I remember my first year of playing football, second grade. Second grade, that's how Polish parents are. What's my first football game? Starting lineman. And I also did a uh, kick return. Halftime came. My dad's like, if you don't change your act, I'm leaving. I'm not even kidding. Not even kidding. I was like, all right, I can't let my dad down. Jeez. <laughs> so it's okay. It's okay to experience failure, Lord Vader. Failure is supposed to make us stronger. And the wise words of Miley Cyrus or Hannah Montana. I think those are the same people. Anyways, can we get on into it? Can you just play the game? Can you just play the game, please? Southside. Mixing things up. Normally I go heavy GLs here. I was feeling a bit different. I was feeling a bit inspired. Taking a look here if the force ghost of me can uh, wake up here. Hello. There we go. Papa Arnold here. Taking a look here. We have Darth Revan with Nest. They one shot it. Yes. One shot it. Raid Shadow Legends, however, two shot. You gotta love it. Ray doing some work. Ray being Ray. SL freaking KR, one shot. Why did they stop? Chimi, why did you stop, bud? Scary? Unexpected things happen. It's okay. That's what happens when you play around these parts of town here. Back wall, Kenobi. If you're not putting Kenobi on defense, you're making it an easy time for your opponent. Kenobi basically has to be Kenobi on defense. Haven't touched it. I threw Star Killer. I bet they're shivering. There's freaking Mace Windu there. If this team holds, it's because of Mace Windu. And it's okay, Chimi. Slash Sins of the Father, slash whatever your real name is. It's okay if you fail. Mace Windu is kind of a top tier character. What can I say? And here's the big boy right here Maul Delorians. It's a, I honestly think Maul Delorians is more threatening than Lord Vader. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding at this point. I've had my bounty hunters lose to that team comp right there. Bounty hunters. They kick Lord Vader into another dimension. I think he ended up in Star Trek one day. You might be asking, why the heck is Jordica there? Take a look at this. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Sashesha. Sashay, I always butcher the name. Too many S's in there. I fought them a couple weeks ago when my internet was down. And I'm like, dang, I knew about this trick. It was the first time I encountered it. It was pretty dirty. We have a whopping, how much speed on this guy? Let's see, hold on, hold on. 264 speed. You're like, look, that's pretty slow. What's so impressive about that? Well, hold the phone. Hold the phone, Johnny boy. Take a look at the unique ability. 10% turn meter whenever an enemy takes a turn. So if a bounty hunter team goes, you're gonna get 10% turn meter, whatever it might be. Further down the list here, it's getting an extra 50% speed when it doesn't have damage immunity. So you guys do the mathematics here. 264 times 1.5, it's okay. Bust out the calculator, dial in the numbers, spit it back to Papa Ano. What speed is that? I'm going to spoil it for you. We're like way over 390 speed. That's dang fast. So unless you got like CLS to quickly outrun it, you're going to run the problem. And it kind of saves you a Watt Timbor. Watt Timbor obviously faster because it's a bonus turn. But when you put Droidica there, it's kind of like saving yourself a Watt Timbor. There's not a lot of things that can outrun 390 speed. So basically Droidica is going to roll. Frenzy's going to get triggered. And you got such a small window of time before Candace comes in, lays waste to the masses. And Maul gets another turn. That's pretty much game over at that point. Ways to go about it. But Chimmy, you know, they got the brain power. They'll figure it out. I don't need to tell them how to handle it. Let's go over here, top side. Bash Bendar, Mo Money, Jedi Master Luke, and Iden Special Forces. 
You guys notice something? We're bringing two of my least favorite teams on offense. We got Lord Vader. We got Beskar Armor Mandalorian. So needless to say, if I don't rage at least once, it must have been way too good of a day. It must have been way too good. What's the problem we got to face here? Luckily, no Kenobi on the front. But we do have Beskar Trashadorian. No Django lead. Haven't seen that in a while. So we have ways to outrun Quill, hopefully. SLKR. Raid Shadow Legends. Shimi probably thought I was going to bring out Star Killer. Nah, uh, uh, uh. Not today. I'm probably going to do a Lord Vader against that and probably scream. And then we got Maul. And we got ways to handle Maul. A Snow Qui Gon, please. North side. No GLs back there. Pretty uh, Night Sisters. Haven't seen Night Sisters on defense in a while. I like to keep them for emergency situations on the offensive, but nonetheless, Special Forces, Rebel Fighters, Cash Spendar, Night Sisters. So we'll, when we get there, we get there. This is what we got to worry about. Is there a uh, Kenobi? Oh, Master Luke's at the tunnel. We got things in the bank. We got to make sure we Lord Vader doesn't suck on the front. Because if he sucks in the front, I, I, I'm going to literally reach out to customer support, which sucks already. Doesn't give the refunds to those that got scammed by the shipment changes. I'm just going to ask him, can you guys literally just delete Lord Vader on my roster? I, I won't even regrind for him. Just take away all my relics. Take my Zetas, my Omicrons, take them back. I don't want it. That's what's gonna happen today if this guy sucks on us. But nonetheless, guys, we're gonna have fun today. We're gonna get in here. We got a long time ex-fo, current friend, temporary foe again until this grand arena is over. So guys, hope you guys are having a great day. Get on over back to the command station and let's get the show on the road, shall we? Woo! Here we go, baby. Where's my boy Kadar? What song we're listening to? Is Kadar in the chat? Let's see if Kadar's in the chat. He's always on top of this game here. Where is he at? I got AA Ron Jadavi. How we doing, man? Can you make a BTS video one day? Uh, I would, but you know, right now it wouldn't be as impressive. Okay, I mean, it would be pretty impressive, but not quite done yet with the the giant uh, warehouse slash star destroyer that we're in. So, um. There's still stuff to do, but that it's been on it's been on the been on the forefront of uh something for you guys to see sometime. But then, you know, so I'm gonna do it because here's the last thing I need. The last thing I need to see is PewDiePie react to my setup, and he's gonna cringe at the cable management. Everything else is glorious. Seriously, the displays we have here. You should you should know what the switches do here. The switches here absolutely astronomical in terms of the power I possess. Cable management has been the one enemy I have yet to this day to conquer. So we can't do it. Or else somehow PewDiePie is going to watch it and it's game over, man. It's game over once PewDiePie roasts my cable management. Everything else is perfect, but they're going to have cable management lingering over me. And I don't want that. So you know what I mean? Oh, Kadar is at work? Ah, understandable. Moment of silence for Kadar. All right, that should be enough for them. Hopefully they're doing all right. And then what else we have? Uh, we're going to do two more. Or actually, one more. I think we're pretty caught up. Uh, we have Daniel Engel saying, please don't censor farts, daddy. Don't you worry, Daniel. We're a fart-friendly zone around her. Don't you worry about it. Danny Mo Molfitz, 499. Hey, Jay scored my first 1740. Holy cow. In Kyber, too, as well. Feels good and bad at the same time. F the matchmaking. Nine, nine mil versus 6.4 mil. <laughs> it's literally like a fat guy just plopping down on the little guy there. But hey, we know that's how matchmaking works. So take advantage of however you can. Long live the Empire. Right back at you, Danny. So how about we do this? You want to just rip the Band-Aid off? You want to just rip the band-aid off here? I don't want to. I don't. I legitimately do not want to play this battle. I don't. Don't want to waste it the turn because in case there's a master Kenobi, the king of galaxy heroes lingering on the back wall. We have problems, my friend. Pretty big problem. So that's why we got to keep Sith the turn in the back seat. Keep him strapped into the booster because it's going to be a hell of a ride to get there. So is this the call? We don't have star killer. Um... I really don't have anything else to take out Ray for the most part. Oh, so here's the game planio. We are gonna mm, We're just gonna tank it up. I mean, here's my strategy. I'm literally gonna go in there. I'm gonna hit full auto. If Ray somehow kills off my thick team, you know, it, it is what it is at this point. Don't want to use Thrawn. We gotta save Thrawn for the Gucci man. If we do come across a set the eternal situation, um, Gary, get in there. Well, let's get some work done. Um, I need like one more thick tank. Uh, you know what? I think I got a Kylo. I think we have a Kylo here. Uh, I, I, I'm slightly considering bringing in Darth Vader. 
Uh, my only thing is in case I want options, in case there's a Lord Vader in the back, I will, maybe it might be nice to have a Trey, a Darth Vader, Talon option. Do I even have Talon? I don't even know. Do I? Jimmy, you saw my defense. Did I put Talon on defense? I don't remember. Oh, she's here. Cool. Uh, ability blocker to basic is nice for if I have to go up against a Lord Vader in the back. Uh, don't use Lord. What am I supposed to do? Just like not use him at all today? Just not try to get through this ray here uh, james holly give us the bigger drop please oh don't you worry when qui-gon shows up you better believe he's gonna show up to the party as well uh then Ben and the mcnamer good luck today thank you so much my friend for the three months uh yeah sisters and online force users. so we have we have technically two online force users here the question is do i want to bring invader to at least help out with some of the damage problems that this guy has I'm, I'm not even kidding guys i'm gonna get into this battle i'm hitting auto i'm not looking i'm just gonna hope that he can do his thing and hope that ray and the resistance crew malik's gonna do zilch he's gonna do nothing he's dead weight on this team versus lord vader he can't get feared we're gucci uh it's just can i will i be able to kill anyone off that's my biggest concern i know the no no so i know that uh, unlike forest user bonuses they don't say i know that i'm literally just putting in a giant tank of a team so that I, there's no way that Lord Vader can die. He's gonna live. He's just gonna keep soaking up mastery from the team over and over again. Ah, the only reason why I'm considering keep, man, do we, if there is a Lord Vader in the back, likely I'm gonna throw bounty hunters against it. Um, but what if I need bounties for something else? You know, bring in Fard Vader. Yeah, that sister is silly. She's pretty thick. Oh, all right, fine. All right, I'll bring in Vader. Get Royal Guard out of there. Put Royal Guard down below here. Where is it at? Where is it at? Um, all right. Let's do it. Gar sucks it for crew. Yeah, you need 50. Like if the battles are maybe 30 minutes long, I'd say Vader has a good chance. Five minutes is cutting it kind of short for the guy. Oh, Arnold, your last opponent soloed your SL care of Lord Vader. Try Well, then what do I, what do I use to take out Ray? What do I use to take out Ray? Not a whole lot. <laughs> Ray, there's only so many off meta counters for Ray. And like, the, actually, it's really like only, I mean, Bound Hunters can kind of do something sometimes with the Omicron Zam. Uh, you start killer, you know, those can be a little tricky sometimes. There's not a lot of off meta stuff. Like, what, what, I, I don't want to use Sith Eternal here. We're going to use Jedi Knight Revan for the SL carry. That's the plan. That's what we got here. Mara Jane instead of Vader. Uh, she's on defense. She's with the big SK. Do I have Rebel Fighters? We do, but that's, um, no, I actually don't. They're on defense. That's another tricky bat. Like there's there's things, but they're so dicey, super dicey. Ray, you don't want to play dicey. She she's the king. Uh, she's the king of Yahtzee when it comes to uh, playing up against her. So here we go, guys. Uh, Gideon, no, we gotta save Gideon. Oh gosh, I don't. I'm literally trying to stall as much as I can. Here we go. Here's a good excuse to stall. We got Jitty Jitty 22 Nakaroonies. How about a little sneak peek of your star destroyer? You got you got you gotta, you gotta, you gotta build up to it. There's gotta be a special moment. There needs to be a birthday cake. We need the decorations. You can't just do it now. They got socks on the floor. Gary hasn't changed his underwear in a couple days. It's not presentable right now. Income I can tell you that. <sighs> just like this Lord Vader. Not presentable, but you know what? <sighs> you ready for this. I'm literally going to hit auto. Walk away. Okay. I'm literally hitting auto. And I'm walking away. Someday I will be. Someday I will be. Oh god, I, I know this is gonna end up poorly. Powerful jet I am. <sighs> I'm hitting I'm literally hitting auto. I'm walking out. I'm I killed, walking out. I killed, I killed them yeah, all. sure. Do what you gotta do. They're dead. Hitting auto. Dead. Every I'm out. One of them. Best of luck, I killed, guys! I killed, I killed Hope we can do well. I'm taking a men, walk of Gary. This guy is gonna need the too. whole entire five minutes to do something. Let's see here. We're gonna watch with the big display here. Lord Vader landing the buff immunity. Jedi training rate cleaning it off. Life blood everywhere. We got the retribution. The big sister is taking the hit. Doing a basic, getting dodged. Vader's gonna dance around town. He's gonna do something. Just, just do something, doesn't matter. No ability block on Ray. It's looking a little scary here. Dropping some more dots. Dropping a call on Malik. Malik is trying to have a tickle party. Ability block cleanse here. Jedi training rate coming up to two hits. Let's see, we got all to coming. Hopefully we can eat it up here. All right. Grip, yeah, grip the inspirations. Here it comes. Get ready. She's going to drop it. Still alive. Unlike forces the bonus is kicking in here. Okay, still not at full ultimate charge. Lord Vader waiting. He's waiting. All right, dropping another round of damage over time. 
throwing this. All right, it's one down. Grant, the Hopefully right. we're still okay here. Liar. All right, still not at a full ult. The Ray's almost ready for a second ultimate here. Let's see what happens. This is Hitting the AoE. Game. Gary taking the heat. It's about time. You All right. Now, give me healing, but he's still not doing anything. Come on. Let's try it. Another ultimate oh, coming no. in. Malik still somehow alive. Killed someone off. Three and a half minutes on the clock. No, you, you idiot. Liar. You idiot. Stop it. No. 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 Okay, whatever. All right, come on. Another ultimate. Freedom. Still alive. Justice. Barely. Security. Just barely. Okay, taking some hits. You'll All right, more lifeblood. Malik finally down. All right, someone's dead. Don't but we got a lot kill. of work to do still. Gary, look at him taking heat. To the All right, a to the coming. Say. Gary's if dead. With Come on, me, me, keep it going. Me, me, Come on, let your Come on, me, 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 another me. ultimate not again. With me, me, again. Me, me, me. Royal guard, where's me, me. the taunt? Come on. Ooh. Vader I barely holding on by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. He's dropping the beat. It's just not doing anything. All right, come on, peace. kill someone off here. Kill peace. someone, please. There we go, healing of the team. All right, another sudden whirlwind coming. Can Royal Guard take it? We got an ulta from Vader again. Hitting the AOE. Here we go. Crash There we go, Vader. All right, Wraith coming in for the 59th ultimate here. Versus Lord Vader second. Can they survive? Let's hold on to the fort. Banners are absolutely atrocious. And another sudden whirlwind. I don't love you. And there we go. It's game set freaking match. <sighs> well, that was something. Oh, wow. What great banners up against Ray. What a fantastic galactic legend you are, Lord Vader. I'm not even kidding you guys. I'm not even kidding, guys. If I played that on manual, we would have timed out. We would have lost. I would have sent him back. I would have been like my father in halftime saying, I'm never showing up to your game again if this is how you're going to play my Grand Arenas. <sighs> Barely got out of that one. Uh, how many alts did Ray have, Gary? What's the, what's the count? Yeah, it's about like 55 alts, and Lord Vader barely got two in there. <sighs> that was, I, I don't even know. Honestly, I don't even know if Darth Vader was worth my time there. That was a nasty battle. That was not pretty. Anyways, how about we keep on moving? That was three. Yeah, she got freaking. Anyways, let's do our next battle. Holy cow, just noticed a Relic 9 Kylo Ren unmasked. I don't know. Is that going to change things up here? I don't know. Um, How's the Lair Bear looking? Thick as ever? Let's see. Let's see those mods. Oh. There we go. We got some health mods on him. No protection on him. So, all right. Try You scared me for a moment. How's the speed on that slicker? Let's check it out. Let's see what the slick daddy's looking like. 576. Uh, that's, that's good. It's good. All right. We got to do it. Um, They dropped against my Ray. You know, if I drop against Kyle, there's no shame in that. No shame in that. Relic 9 Karu. I don't know if that's going to change much. That's a, Actually, I'm curious. What are the stats on him? Ooh, baby, that's a lot of health and protection right there. That's a lot of Kylo. We're going to have to work through right there. Oh, I mean, you fall out with the Trash Lord Vader team against a decent raid team. Hey, that was not a, I've seen better raids. That wasn't even the best raid team. Malik was dead weight. There was no Holdo. There was no heals. There was no cleanses. There was no cat. That was not an amazing raid team. Stop, stop giving Lord Vader credit for when there's no credit due there. There was no credit due there. <sighs> Literally, if again, if I manually played that, it would have just been timed out. We would have been screaming. The stream would have ended. Gary, I don't know. Probably would have ripped off another part of, out of him for no reason. Anyways, let's get our uh, germs up here. We're going to get you. Um, what do I like to do here? What's the one we do? Yeah, it's like, yeah, you. And then we got a, a little bit of you, a little bit of you. <sighs> you know what? I. You know what? Yeah, just leave it there. It's okay. <sighs> You ready for this? How's Gary holding up? He's not looking good. He took a sudden whirlwind to the face. Not a good day at the office, if you ask me. Oh, you forgot to chug the chalky milk? Oh, Tom, well, that would explain a lot. I mean, here, Jawa juice is our fish to go to, but, you know, chalky milk could probably take us a good distance as well. Uh, Caleb, did I get you, Caleb? I did not. 989, Caleb Chadwick. Thank you so much, my friend. Finally unlocked my first GL Jedi Master Kenobi. Talk about it. It's like, <laughs> just got my first car. Uh, Ferrari, love Ferrari. 
That's literally how you sound like right now. You're sounding like you're living the good life. Jedi Master Kenobi this morning excited to sh uh, the show the might of the Empire also into consideration and streaming Lego Star Wars Saga next time. We'll, we'll play the only thing I I mean we'll, we're gonna stream we'll, we'll play a little bit of, we'll see how the people like it usually with those type of games it's like you know everyone their mother's playing a single player experience but you know what? I'm gonna play it anyways at least for one day because I love Lego Star Wars you ready for this honey <sighs> let's get some receiver conqueror hero villain shenanigans in here Ah. Don't screw up. Not an easy Galactic Legend to clean up. There we go. Let's play some ball. Let's play with the cards that are going to be dealt. Here we go. We're going to deal out the cards. We're going to go ahead and get pumped in the face. Let's get our turn. We're going to go and swap it on over the loop. I'm going to slam dunk this. Looking good. We're going to tackle the first order off of whatever. Too many acronyms out there. Get the loop. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and give it to Luke again. Should be dead. He's gone. All right, we need to get a mind trick right now or else we're screwed. And I can spell that several different ways here. Okay, not the greatest. So I think what we gotta do is we gotta quickly kill Hux because he's got a cleanse coming. Uh, let's get, we have, we have to get rid of Hux. We have to, this is not looking good. No ability block on Kylo is a bad day at the office. Bad day at the office for no cleanse. All right, nice counter though. Um. I can kill him. I could. One, two, we'll get another three. turn in. One, two, three. Uh, I'm just gonna kill him off. I'm gonna kill him. Here we go. Holy shit! Oh shit! My bad. Uh, let's do this real quick. Good dodge. Uh, let's give it to Larry. All right, well, this is going to be an interesting situation here. Let's see if we can try to handle the heat that's coming in. Can he come out of stealth? All right, okay, he came out of stealth. All right, let's see if we can try to maybe do this here. Okay, this is going to hurt. All right, so it's looking like that I'm dropping one for the, their dropped one. So we are probably going to be neck to neck after this one here. No way we're going to get out of this one alive. Uh, Harry, you know what? I can maybe ability block or uh, what's called blind. Man, is, is there tenacity in this guy? Is there tenacity in this guy? I'm gonna check the mods here. We're having a hard time landing these hits on this guy or the debuffs. I'm going for it. Let's go. Oh, so close counter. Oh, we made it out alive, Luke. You sly son of a gun. Oh, by the hairs of my chinny chin chin. We got out of that one alive. That was a repulse right there. I don't like to swear. I truly don't. In real life, I I, I, I try not to swear. I'm, I'm pretty good about that. I got a lot of young kids in my family. I try to be a good model example. Good model citizen. Oh, but that was the most reactive, instinctive swear I think I've ever put out. They're like, one thing I hate is when people got to drop F and this, F and that every two seconds. Like, you got to save it for good moments. That was a good moment where I just, I lost all control, all inhibition. I just had to spill the beans on that one. Okay, good job, Luke. We got out of that one alive right there, barely. But that wasn't a very pretty battle. So even though they dropped one against our Ray, we still dropped some stuff here. So let's see what we're gonna do here. Oh, yeah, AP's a bad influence. I, mean, I do one video with the guy, by the way, check out his channel, we did a meme review. I hang out with him for like 20 minutes and all of a sudden like all of my years of upbringing where you know i could i couldn't say crap oh my, i said crap one time <sighs> it was the end of the world you want to know a real good story i mean i my my aunt love her the bits and pieces when i was a kid uh we all lived in my grandma's house my mom my aunt uh she had kids of her own at the time and uh you know she would say a lot of colorful words no no i was like i was in preschool or kindergarten at the time you need to get you know, they have a certain pizzazz. You don't know what a bad word is. So I decide, you know what? I'm going to share some of these words with my friends at school. I go to kindergarten one day. I'm playing at the boys. You know, the little cool, looks like a roller coaster. You got the little shapes on them. They have a little roller coaster. And you go on, I'm chilling with the boys. And I'm like, hey guys, see those girls over there? Let's go kick their ass. And they're like, oh, 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 oh. And then they start sprinting to the teacher. I'm like, what? No, what, what, what? They tattled on me. They tattled on me. The boys tattled on me in kindergarten. They said I said a potty word. 
I got written up. Big red sheet. I was smart though. I was smart. I said, Mr. And Mrs. Robinson, I have to go to the bathroom. I took that thing, got it under my shirt, went to the bathroom, threw it right on top of the garbage can. Right on top, clear as day. I thought I was the slickest criminal. Next day, you know, the parents, they, they hold their kids by the hand when everyone's lining up at the school. Teacher comes out, it's not time to bring the kids in yet. Not time to bring the kids in yet. Uh, Arnold's mom, can I talk to you for a second? All eyeballs locked on me. Walk of shame into the, the school building. Parents looking at me as if I robbed someone. Maybe I murdered someone. Teacher tells my mom, I said the A word. She found, I didn't know how she could possibly discover this. I thought I was so good at covering this crime up. She pulls out the crumpled red sheet that said I did something bad. Tears pouring down my face. Guess what? When you're in a Polish family, it's not just dad's job to smack the living daylights out of you. You got passed around. I went home. Dad beat me up. I saw my Jodek a week later. He beat me up. My Vujek, he beat me up. I saw some my grandpa that I haven't seen in several years. We met at Christmas. He beat me up for it. Everyone just, it's like you get passed around. Needless to say that I can't say that word. It's like I, I get i get flashbacks every time I say that word. Uh, anyways, wow, we're just having a lot. <laughs> we're, just, we're just making a lot of fun stuff happen today. But nonetheless, I thought that was a fun story to share with you guys. It's 1,000% it's, it's true. I like, I, like my lady of the stars, don't tell her. She's, 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 I call her Sarah. She's, she's Irish. She's, she's got a sailor's mouth. So it's like between her and AP, like it's like it's chipping away at the foundation that my family built for me over the years. Uh, anyways, let's keep it going. Uh, we got this uh, beautiful Darth Maul Talon. I'm pretty sure Chimmy thought that it could slip me up here, but keep in mind, Chimmy, we only did this because we were getting a little crazy at that point. We're not gonna throw Qui-Gon at this. A little too um, Hail Mary for my liking against this particular lineup. So what we're gonna do here, uh, there's no buff to spell. Yes, we should be good. We're going to just throw Bad Batch at this one. I think we'll get the job done. Am I going to need Bad Batch for anything else? Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, since... Uh, how fast is my Echo? How fast is Echo here? Let's check it out. 366, I think... Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, you know what? Uh, we got other ways to handle this. I feel like throwing Bad Batch is a little too... A little much. Let's go throw a bad batch at the mall team. Call it a day. Yeah, GA needs an Imperial PTSD. I'm telling you. I think this is one reason why, like, I feel like maybe maybe I'm the one in the wrong. I don't want to say I'm right here. I do think I'm right. I feel like, and maybe it's just me. I feel like the world got a little too soft. Uh, you know, it's like I grew up, I grew up in the, the modern warfare two lobbies. That was my first online game I ever played. Man, talk about an experience. It's like, uh, so I, I, I've been battle hardened. So I see the things nowadays, it's like, are we really, are we really going to cry and yell at each other over Egghead Grand and Quiz? Let's just make memes and move on. Okay. You know, can't we just all love the memes? So that's why I got on that little rant today. I, I've had a different, a little bit different an upbringing where it's, you know, I'm all, I also came up in a family where, uh, we don't really settle, you know, dad came over, he had a, his oh, off the boat from Poland. He had one tube sock, all the stuff's in the tube sock, and he grew. He went through a lot. I don't want to go talk about his life, but he went through a lot of crap when he first came to the America. And, you know, he built a nice thing for him. So, we, you know, we, we our family knows work hard, at the work ethic, you know, being grateful for what you have and, you know, always trying to be your very best. And, um, I mean, what was I? Where the heck was I going with this? I completely lost my train of thought. It's I, There was a point to the story. I'm pretty sure someone will remind me where the, <laughs> my tangent I was going on. Um, oh, but no, no, nonetheless, I, I would bring home like an, an A minus. And he's like, why'd you, and I, you know, normally kids, they would get stickers. They would get free ice cream. They would get a new toy. I, my dad's like, well, you want, you want me to congratulate you for doing what you're supposed to do? So that's the, that's just how I, that's how I was growing up. Yeah. Art of salt. I mean, this is what I like to do. I like hanging out with you guys. I like telling stories. I like having fun of these virtual nine polygon design characters. 
And I love playing this song, one of my personal favorites. It's kind of weird, it sounds egocentric, but I do like this song, even if it wasn't made by the Kyber Club. You ready for it? Let's go, send them on in. If you lose, I send them back. I want a refund on this team. I'm literally gonna tell CG Strip, I want a refund on this uh, now year old team here. By the way, next month, double charge off these guys. Fantastic, we'll accept Omega. All right, we're gonna get hit a little bit here. We're gonna do basic, it's gonna hurt for a moment. It's okay. We're, we're, we're gonna turn this around in a moment. Okay, maybe not. Uh, maybe not. We're gonna go ahead and do uh, this here. We need we need tech to get in here. We need tech. Come on, tech. Tech, 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 tech. There it is. All right, let's clean this up. There we go. We're gonna turn it around now. Let's go ahead and get our defense up. Land a few stuns while we're at it. Omega's gonna do Omega things here. Beginning's always nasty on these battles, but usually these guys pull through. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna get some fear. Let's go and yank them. There we go, at the buffs. There we go, Uno reverse card happening here. I'm just gonna go and light them up. Oh, wow, 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 multi-kill right there. Should be done. Oh, you know what I should do? Oh, hold on, shoot, I should have gave it the echo. Ah, let's just wrap it up. Uh, all right, we're gonna miss on a banner. Definitely could have got one banner back there. Not too shabby. That's the one situation where I will admit Omega makes material difference. Pre-taunt and Wrecker makes those battles quite the breeze right there triple kill on omega there we go again cg can i remark it it's not a high single fire damage character it's a high burst that's talon's line the high sustain damage character consciousness defense up that you guys marketed completely wrong and i wouldn't have been as salty i hate when i'm misled by cg probably the first time it won't be the last as well High multi, yeah, high multi-target sustained damage. That's the best way of putting it. Okay. Beskar Trash Doran. Let's not get too cozy here. This ain't the cozy club after all. That's for cozy club only. We, we're, we're more like a step above cozy club. We're not that cozy, but we're like a friendly club. That's kind of what we are around here. Um, Beskar Mando. So I, the thing my mind is gravitating towards here is Geonosians. You know, sometimes things go wrong, though. Well, we're gonna bring you in, bring you in, get uh, a little bit of ability block in here. Um, let's go and get our Gidster. Where's Gideon? Now we uh, we haven't. It's weird. We haven't fought at Beskar Mandalay in quite a few weeks. So we haven't been able to use this, but now that we see that Quill's here, with no way to oomph his speed up. Three fifty three. Normally, I'd be 383 under Django. We'd have to kind of opt for a different lineup. But here, we're going to run circles around them. As long as I can yeet out Mando, we're going to be Gucci. If, we, if, if he gets damage immunity on, we're going to be kind of screwed here. Uh, let me just double check that there's no, like, secret tricks. Maybe this guy's, like, 500 million speed. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Sometimes, sometimes people like to get cute. Because you, you, you usually only look at Quill. Then IG-11 somehow had 600 speed on him. And then he was like, oh, okay, that really changes things up then. Um, IG-11 or AD-8, they had the same thing. They're, um, Dengar, Toilet Paper Head, and let's see, 231. All right, so we're going to outrun Quill, pull back the Terminator. Um, we're going to ping away at Mando a little bit. Hopefully Spy gets out there in time and yeets him out. Uh, we're going to try to get an ability block. Oh, actually, I can't, we can't, oh, we can get ability block him, right? We can ability block him. Yeah, we just can't critical hit or stun him. So we're going to try to land an ability block on him. Well, so I'm not saying fast IG-11 is good. I've just seen people do it. I, I, I don't quite understand IG-11 being faster than Quill. I mean, the idea behind it, I mean, I know why, but I don't think it's the best way of doing it. As you guys know, you get tons of, not tons, but you get turn meter whenever a scoundrel enemy is doing, or they're attacking you, doing damage. So IG-11 does, do, 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 gives you 10% turn meter out the get-go, helps you out. Um, yeah, but I mean, the only, I, uh, yeah, I, I've only seen a few people do it. I was like, oh, why do that? Just have Quill go first, then I, then Scarmando. Then if anything, have IG-11 go third, so he clears off Foresight, lands Tenacity down. Like, that makes sense. I don't buy the whole IG-11 first thing. That's just me. Name of this song? Currently, you are listening to Master Duel of the Fate. Oh, this is, no, <laughs> this is Duel of the Fates by, oh my, I think, I believe their name is Synth, oh gosh. Synth, Synth, Lydia Wave? Oh gosh, it's been a while since I've talked to him. It's been quite a while. This, if you look up um, Imperial, I know this isn't the Imperial March. If you look up the Imperial March Synth Wave, you'll find them. Great guys. No stealth for the spy. Uh, that's only, I guess so. Mm. 
Is that going to be a huge problem, though? Is it a problem that we can solve? And that's if we critically hit him. Let's, see, let's double check the spy. Because if we don't have the oomph, there's no, no sense in doing the ooh la la afterwards. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to believe we'll be fine. Yeah, if anything, we just don't do the AoE. We just do the mass swarm. Or not the mass swarm. We're just going to get the do basic, sun fac assist. And we'll just do single target damage. So as long as you don't put him under stealth, we should be good. Why no Zeta on the leader ability? Who's mine? Oh, it's one of those things where... You gotta keep in mind, a lot of these characters are when Zetas are really scarce. And that Zeta just, during the time, like now I'm swimming in Zetas. It's like, it's a weird feeling. Like now it's like, yeah, just throw them, just give a Zeta. You're like, here, you take a Zeta, take a Zeta. They're being a bit more accessible. Back then, Zetas weren't as accessible. And the, and the Zeta lead on him, it wasn't that transformed. It was, it was like an all right Zeta at best. It wasn't like, oh, you gotta have it. Like the unique ability you gotta have on him. All right, we're gonna give it a shot. Yeah, just don't hit Dangar. Yeah, just don't hit him. That's gonna be our main goal. So I'd say, uh, I don't know, let's ask Newt if this is gonna get out of hand. Let's make it happen. Trump, gotta be careful. Don't crit man, uh, Dangar. Let's go for best Garmano. Knock him out, call it a day. We'll be uh, ready for dinner with Wampa tonight. Let's go, send it on him. No screwing around, please. GB Elite, it's, yeah, it's, it's, the, the Z down the lead is just like, eh. You don't need it, it's not the most important thing. The most important thing about Geobird Alpha, that unique ability. Uh, let's go ahead, pull back the turn meter. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and just do uh, basic for right now. We're gonna go ahead and start throwing some of these buffs up here. There we go. Oh, well that sucks. <laughs> All right, don't get too, don't get scared. We do not want to crit Dangar. Let's just start tickling away. Just start tickling away at Mando. Actually, you might want to do this. Oh uh, shoot, you know what? We might want to do this. We're already under stealth here. I see what we're going to do is we're going to pull back Terminator and IG-11 and all these other fools. Let's do it. Okay. We got to go for it. Three, two, one. Hey, actually, you can maybe... Hold on. Hold on. You know what? I'm going for it. YOLO. Not quite enough, but the good news is he's not going to hurt. Actually, get him out. We're fine. We're good. He's out. He's out. All right. Now we got to get through the rest of this nastiness here. Yeah, we still got work to go through, but, you know, best Armando's problem number three. Quill and I just love and a problem number one. And we have our cleanse on lockdown right now, unfortunately. All right. We're just going to just try to work on Quill for the moment. Luckily, the Moralize will buy us some time here. Keep those ability blocks on if we can. Come on. All right. It's getting, it's getting a little heated up in here. Let's drop the ability block. I'm getting a little too uncomfortable right now. There we go. We have our ability block off. I think we're going to be fine. Keep swarming him. Almost there. There we go. We're in the yellow. Oh, I, I want to be in the green, but yellow is all right for the moment. Let's go ahead. Work on this guy. Drop an ability block if we can. Ooh, okay. Let's, uh, let's clean this up. I don't like the way this looks. You know what? Push back their turn meter. There we go. Don't let him screw around here. Let's scope out. Uh, Dengar. Mm, there we go. We pulled him out of stealth. There we go. You know what? Let's give it a Dengar. Three, two, one. Pull up the heat stick. There we go. No more banner snipes for you. Looking good. I say let's just go ahead and drop down this. Good stuff. All right. Already. Okay. Let's clean it up. Cleanse happening. Very good. And let's do a Bazik. Full send over them this pool. And let's do a basic. And down for the count they go. But we still have this banner snipe lord over here. Let's see if we can try to maybe just stall him out a little bit. I'd like one more fine. Just do it. But give me like one more good cleanse. One more good cleanse is all I need. It's like here's a moment where, yeah, maybe the Zeta would have been nice to have. Mm, one more cleanse. Uh, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to pull back turn meter a little bit. Let's just reset everything. Try to get Geo Brood in here one more time. No, 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 no. No offense up. Eh, all right. Lost a few banners there. Five banners. Saved me a good team. Didn't need anything serious for that. All right. Oh, that was the last team, man. Time flies. That puts us, what, four banners ahead of Sins of the Father. Even though they dropped the battle, uh, we did pretty messily over there. Okay. Well, when I don't see... Oh, that's... Now, that is quite an interesting compliment. Someone had a similar idea to moi. Uh, no, Lord Vader. Look... This is two Grand Arenas back-to-back -back where top players are refusing to put Lord Vader on deep. That says something. There's a trend happening. I think I'm just fine. Like, we've been, in, we've been like, we know he wasn't the greatest, but it's like, come on, he's got to just work on defense. Come on. 
And at this point, it's just like, all right, well, let's just bring them on home. It's, it's, they're, they're like my dad. It's like, you know what? Halftime is quite a couple months ago, and we're still here. You're performing like crap. Just come, on, come back home. Come back home, Lord Vader. So they had a similar idea. Uh, so they had two GLs on defense versus my force. They still have some stuff they got to do. Good news is, though, the good news is, though, we have a lot of flexibility to work around here. So we have Qui-Gon Omicron, which I don't, I, I haven't seen it since the first week it came out. Not the greatest defense team. We did burn off our Bad Batch. So maybe that was part of Chimi's strategy to pull out the Bad Batch, but worst case scenario, since we don't have a lot of GLs left, we could probably just sit the turn all that, not even screw around. And then here we might have the Rebels this. I'm not a, I feel like Rebels should be able to handle that. We got Fennec. Uh, I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, maybe they had a maybe they had a vision that for the first time in several months I'm bringing Lord Vader on offense, and they're like, yeah, there's no need for Fennec. Fennec on defense, which is quite interesting. Hmm. We could probably do like a droid thing on there if anything. Is that Wampa Omicron? Hold on, uh, Wampa Omicron's not going to do much here. Yeah, no Wampa Omicron. It's just kind of leftover stuff there. Yeah, even if there was a Wampa Omicron, it's not going to do a whole lot. We could do Night Sisters, but at this point, I have a feeling if. if if they can't full clear me, they, they had a bad day at the office. They're probably calling off work. They're going home. They're going to cry. So right now, we, we, we're both, we got to pinch banners from here on out. And uh, we got a, a lot of interesting stuff. So Chimi, if you're watching, come on, let's turn this into a back and forth action. We got an hour, 40 and o'clock. Get on. Let's start playing. There's no, you don't need to just watch me. I think they're waiting to see what I do uh, up against their, uh, my, uh, their stuff here. So maybe they get some ideas here. Uh, the question I have is, uh, they, they got four GLs. They, if they don't get through Kenobi, I'll be very surprised. Unless they did a poor job on the south wall. So here's what I'm thinking, y'all. Rebels here. The good news is there's only three Mandalorians. So only two people getting called to assist. Uh, but the thing is here, so here's the trick here that I like. Kind of like the Droidica thing, but I think a little cheaper. Because you don't need to put crazy mods on Droidica. Uh, BB-8 should get a good amount of turn meter. Wiggle. Trigger Maul. Candorous goes. And things could go downhill from here. Uh, the one thing I'm thinking of is if unless... Maybe I should just, like, stun him out the get-go. Seal or uh, Han. Uh, let's see. How is he looking at? 236. Um, no, 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 no. Get this Forever 21 stuff out of here. Okay. <sighs> what is this? CLS? I haven't fought Maul in a hot minute. I mean, uh... You could maybe do Jawas here, but Django's kind of like... He doesn't play that game. It's usually hard to kill off uh, Django with a, with a Jawa crew. Something at CLS, we could do Sith Turtle Nices. We got options. On the north, there's really nothing crazy uh, that I'm seeing here that would warrant the save Sith Eternal. Mm, you know what? I have Beskar, man. I forget. I have Beskar Armor Mando. We got to do something to the guy. I, uh, I'm going to give a shot to Kiawe. I, he came back. He, he left. I thought he was gone for good. I'm glad he came back. Uh, I saw he popped up in my, my subscription feed. He used Beskar Mando against it. I don't know if it'll work against here. If Kiawe's here, it'd be nice to... The, I, I just saw the thumbnail. I thought it was kind of neat. Um, man, if I can make Beskar Mando work there, I, that'd be kind of nice. I don't know what to do with Beskar Mando. I kind of, you know, you guys know how I am. I have a low, 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 low degree of confidence on the guy. Be careful for Ness. Where was the Ness? Ness was on the Dash Rendar. So... That's true. We got to be careful. It's kind of there just to cause problems. I mean, we have bounty hunters. Uh, I don't think this is a... Uh, last I checked, very surprised. Very, very slow dash. 301, probably the slowest dash I've ever seen. It's uh, quite surprised. I'm not sure if there's a reason behind it. Maybe there's something I'm missing here. Maybe someone else is fast that's going to make up for him. Uh, maybe he just figured, you know what? Everyone's beating dash Rendar now. People kind of figured out the trick. So no need to blow his speed out of proportion. Uh, but I'm thinking uh, we could probably just throw bounty hunters against this. Yeah, I'm not seeing anyone crazy fast. What was the nest? Let's check the nesty boy. Let's see what she what she pack in here. 239. So yeah, I'm not sure um, if there's a reason behind it. it. Might just be they just decided to use mods somewhere else. Bando against Night Sisters. I mean, we could do Imperial Troopers against that. Uh, there, we're gonna we're gonna have to use Best Commander here somewhere. We haven't used the guy in months. Kind of like Lord Vader. I got sick of using him on offense, so we, everyone just throws him on defense and hope he steals a few banners at the very minimum. So, all right, I, I'm going to rip off the band-aid. We're going to go up against this team. I'm thinking Han. Kill off BB-8. How fast is Maul? Let's check it real quick. Oof, that's actually gnarly. 
330, no speed sets, not too shabby. Maul is a pretty fast character. I'm wondering. Bounty hunters, maybe? I want to believe this will be fine. I want to believe. See, Maul, you got to think a little bit because there's he's he's a wild one. I heard I like the, the wild ones as well. So boom, boom, boom. BB-8 out of here in a few seconds. 285. See, I'm wondering what they're going to do up against my mall. I have a feeling I kind of did this on purpose. I set up gas in the front, hoping it would pull out the CLS. I'm hoping it works. I mean, they have four GLs. Worst case scenario, they probably could just throw a GL at it uh, if I had to guess. So they might have, they might do a GL there. CLS win no matter what. Yeah. You can do it. So the yeah, set the turn. I mean, it's not the ideal Ma Ma uh, Mandalorian team, but I mall could be set the turtle see through it i'm thinking we're just gonna see the qui-gon and underdog it that's what i'm thinking we should be good they're only getting 60 percent tm right 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 but mauls he's pretty fast he's gonna get going no matter what you know honestly i wonder if i should go after candorous first just let bb do his thing the question is can i kill him right away What do you say uh, the Zeta orders for Imperial Troopers? Easy. Veer's unique. Piet Emperor's Trap. That's all you need. You want some extra ones? Piet Suborbital Strike. Nice. Not needed. Uh, Dark Trooper. Nice. Not needed. Gideon. Nice. Not needed. You really only need two Zetas for Imperial Troopers. That's all you really need. How much health does Candy have? Not a lot. No, not crazy. Not crazy. It's, uh, it's mostly offense based. So, uh, like, I feel like if I can get him out, then Maul's not going to have as many friends to assist. But, I mean, this could still get me out. I don't want to sleep on this team. Definitely don't want to sleep on this team here. I'll send it. Okay. This is kind of a first for me. Uh, last time I fought against Maul, it was many moons ago. I just threw Jawas at it. And uh, Django, I'm not sure if he's going to play nice with that. So, I say let's just Luke it. Why is he in the team again? It's meant to try to get Maul's frenzy trigger. You need someone to be fast. The trigger malls frenzy he gets his turn going and starts running circles so i think i'm gonna go for candorous we'll see i'm gonna go for candorous first let's see if i regret this he's really the main threat because he's gonna be the person to get Maul's second frenzy off we gotta do something about it all right i'm gonna go for it wish me luck y'all there we go okay he's gonna go that's fine get some counters in here i think we're gonna be able to get out uh, so we gotta watch the turn meter here we're looking pretty good. We just don't, you know what I'm gonna do? Here, how about this? There we go, no more frenzy for you. Get out of here. He's gone, we're gonna basic our way through that. And I say at this point, we could probably just completely bypass, you know, stun that droid so it doesn't, okay, whatever. Uh, let's just see, you know, drive by, let's go. Come on, hit them all. There we go, bye. Lost the banner, nicely done. I think I overthought that, but you know, Maul. Can be a bit complicated. He's got a lot of layers of emotion to him. Um, I hate you on Kenobi. I just don't understand it. It's a cool story arc, but I feel like he let it take him to the grave. That's one thing you guys got to learn. Don't be like Maul. Don't let one little thing. Yeah, he cuts you in half, but that's kind of your fault. Don't let it take you to the grave a second time around. There we go. Nicely done. Nicely done. Probably could have gotten banners back, but I just I don't want to screw around. So we got through that. All right. Nicely done. Come on, Chimmy. What are you waiting for? Come on, bud. Let's play some ball. What are we looking over? Any moves? Any movement? No movement over there. Okay. Chimmy wants to see that final score. He wants to make sure he go one step above it. We'll play that game. We'll play it. Uh, who will we have here? Uh, <laughs> Alex, so tell us the 499. That sports announcer style was perfect for that battle, the Lord Vader battle. It's the only way I can get over the anxiety of that battle. It's like, you just got to keep talking. And maybe, maybe he'll get motivated and he'll work his way through it. So I'm glad you enjoyed it, Sotelo. Uh, John Daniel, hi, my friend, with the 499. Would you rather go for Sith Eternal or Executor first? Long live the Empire. Oh, man. What, what, what answer do you want me to give you? The present answer or the more future speculative answer? Right now, Executor gets you more bank for your buck. There is, There has never been another character or team. Revan maybe came close. 
but there's never been another character or team where a majority of the time you had to two shot it no matter what the executor mirror matches best of luck to you may rng just be with you malevolence good luck that's right now though there will be another ship down the road keep in mind fleets are slow moving we don't know if they're gonna up the ante it could be like negotiating malevolence where it just remains dominant for two years it's the slowest moving meta in galaxies galactic legends however comma they're meant for a broader longer term view of the game and especially how uh, cg i was about to call them sith eternal they like the baby they're gl sometimes they're meant to be kind of one notch above the rest of the crew a whole breed of their own so i would say for more of a longer term investment sith eternal but here's the thing a lot of those sith eternal requirements are going to translate into the executor so why not both you need your piet up and running with sith eternal you need it for executor right uh you need the imperial tie bomber go for it you need darth vader up and running so really they, they share a lot of stuff together so you no one says you can't do either or you could do both of them go for sith eternal you're going to work towards executor unless you get the executor right now the problem is i can't guarantee you four or five six months now the executor is going to be as good as it is now they're going to release another capital ship down the road so we got to wait and see um Pim is pimpo in the chat people are calling on pimpo out people with the identity theft hard counter where's pimpo is he in the chat he's bad hey there's pimpo is that the real pimpo or no that's the fake pimpo identity theft is not a joke pimpo or fake pimpo <laughs> all right uh sit the turtle here i say we do grievous down there i'm just kind of listing out the stuff we're gonna do boom 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 let's keep it rolling shall we uh let's see uh, i'm you know what i'm gonna go for a little risk we're gonna do something over here bounty hunters I think we're gonna reserve bounty hunters here slow team get rid of ness i don't want to see her ever again imperial troopers um treya we got options in the gas tank let's just not screw these last few battles up and let's get the ships i'm extra surprised chibi went a little light on us here where's all the gls chimi uh let's do it set the turtle um i i want to i want to say that we'll be fine we'll just let's just get a two man in here throw in watt the the good news is well i'm against it but the good news is once you throw a GL in there, we basically delete their whole entire Omicron. Oh, we still got a Qui-Gon of our own. Let's do a Qui-Gon mirror match. <laughs> uh, Adriano SM, how we doing? Five uh, Buckaroonies. I pretty much enjoy ships and the idea. Uh, what do you think they could make better besides add more ships? Uh, a game mode that made me appreciate them more? Uh, Death Star Raid, hello. The thing that made Star Wars Star Wars blowing up this space station the size of a moon that could be seen from multiple planets uh come on like how is it we are in 2022 not a whiff of anything death star related that's really the biggest problem that they have uh another problem they have is that the the best ships are so like they're so paywalled and they're for multiple years they're paywalled we're just getting the razor crest now and then you gotta hope the razor crest has a good day and shows up in the fleet shipment office for you and it's still gonna take a while you need the high relics there, there needs to be see the great thing about the character meta it's like all right you don't have a gl you still got this wide repertoire of characters that are good at a variety of levels we don't have that with shift it's executor or bust that's the problem we have the meta is not diverse enough there's not a game mode that really appreciates the ships a bit more that's kind of my biggest issue that we have uh save watt for Iden. i mean you're not wrong that would be nice yeah i mean Iden's a bit Iden's a fickle friend you know what let's let me we were gonna we were gonna do best garmando against it you know I, I we're gonna try it we're gonna try best garmando against this i don't like it though i honestly don't know i don't I actually don't know i actually don't know where to use best garmando because the problem i have is i don't have barris today i just remembered i put barris with uh jedi master luke he's on defense right on defense with Barris, so uh without Barris, I feel like my Sith trio would get yeeted. Hmm. That's actually a little problem. Healing Mitty would suck Sith Eternal. Yeah, I think we're gonna stick to Watt and Sith Eternal. Uh, but Iden, it's like I gotta worry about Iden. Uh, I put more thought into Iden counters than I do my uh, Lord Vader counters. Hmm. I mean, I could always throw Grievous against them that is not a pretty battle i've lost those quite a few times of grievous Incoming and if they blitz down b1 it's game over at that point 
Incoming donation. If you try Qui-Gon YOLO, we'll get through when we get there. I want to get rid of the Jedi Knight Anakin first. We're just going to throw our GL at it. Let's get some high banners to try to widen the margin between us. They got a lot more nasty stuff to go through than I do. So this is the team that we just want to make sure we don't screw around with too much. But hate to have my first Qui-Gon loss. So let's just do it. Set the tunnel. Get in there. We're going to kill off Anakin first. Since we have a GL, we can just completely ignore Qui-Gon. Go straight for Anakin. And uh, they can probably call it a day at that point. So let's go ahead. He's got a tall order to fill. It's called Order 66, baby. No GL on Qui-Gon Jinn. Why not? Why not? Uh, Zam Bounties, I don't trust them, man. I don't trust them. Qui-Gon Jinn versus... I will, we'll get there when we get there. Let's go. Send it on him. Why? You're going to die. But, you know, that's a risk I'm willing to take here. We're going to go ahead. Pass over this uh, and this guy. So in case you get a healing man, we're going to be fine. I say we link you up. Uh, let's link up... Uh, Pick up Ayla. And now we're going to just start blitzing down Anakin. We'll lose the link eventually. That's fine. Let's go ahead and throw some uh, heals over times up. That's for the moment. Wow, that, that really hurt. That really hurt. That's probably a dumb move, but okay. Let's get rid of Anakin and then we could probably... We might, we might be able to leave with Watt alive at this rate. Let's see what happens. Okay, just do basic. Anakin's out. Good stuff. Clean up the ability block. Let's just go ahead and we're going to get dodged. So whatever, that's fine. They're going all in on Sith the turn. That's fine. No, they can't. don't kill Watt. He didn't do anything wrong. It's not his fault. Uh, let's just go for Ayla next here. There we go. She's gone. Don't die me yet. Let's get the protection over time on us. Keep alive. Looking good. Let's do a relink here. Let's kind of meet up again here. Link number one. Link number two. And you know what? I'm going to go for Qui-Gon now. Luminar is only gear 12. Shouldn't be a big concern. They're really trying to knock my Watt down, but I'm not going to buy it. Get the protection back on me. Maybe I could leave with some good banners here. Do another basic. There we go. Maybe damage over time. So we'll croak him. Uh, we'll just we'll help him out. All right. Looks like we're going to leave with everyone alive. We might actually, you know, actually go to, uh, go to Windu. Go to Windu here. All right. Uh, we're actually full protection. Very nicely done. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go ahead and pull my finger. Um... A little heal, basic, a little magic hand thing. He's gone. All right. He doesn't want to show up to this party. Okay, basic over here. All right, we're going to keep the protection. All right, good banners, good banners. I'll take this. We will take this. Now, don't you dare touch my Watt. 68 banners. There we go. Didn't need Watt. Eh, maybe, maybe not. It's nice having that in there. Beautiful. Yeah, I know. I wasted one whole banner. GAC ruined right there. Listen, guys, we're in a lead right now. Let's maintain said lead. They're not going to have an opportunity to two-man a lot of the stuff that I have left of them, most likely. All right, Fennec Shand. Let's check out the Mata Roonies that we have here. Oh, James Holy. Oh, my gosh. I, oh, my gosh. There's a big chunk of uh, Super Chats that popped up out of nowhere here. Uh, James Holy, thank you for your patience, my friend. Which Zetas do I need for SLKR? Hux, both Kylos, and do I need Larry Zeta or Gary? Oh, man. Let me help you out, my friend, on that one. Uh, free to play Grand Arena is going to be nasty, by the way. Heads up. Uh, just to give you a little spoiler. Alert. Uh, Zetas. Uh, if you're like, if you're not planning on getting Kylo right, like SL care for a year, you know, you're just starting off brand new, new player right now. I think I made a video on the Zetas on this team, but eh, no one watches my videos at this point. It's all good. Uh, I highly recommend at the minimum Scarred that you're going to use this no matter what. This is always going to be a Zeta you're going to use with or without a custom perimeter Kylo. If you aren't getting SLKR for a long time, get the lead. That's how you're going to get the most bang for your buck out of the first order. Uh, Hux is the other important Zeta. Boundless ambition. Being able to stop the turn meter, really important. So those are like the... Um, honestly, I, would, I think how I went about it, I did Kylo Ren unique first. Then I did Hux. Or was it Kylo Ren? It doesn't matter. You're going to want these Zetas on. These Zetas, the two Zetas on Kylo, the Zeta on Hux... Zeta on Sith Trooper and the Zeta on First Order Stormtrooper will not go to waste when you get Supreme Leader Kyle Ren. The one Zeta that might go to waste is this one. I drew it on Outrage. It's good. When, like, I, you got so much use out of it. But you're just not going to use Kyle that much as Supreme Leader Kyle Ren. Still great for soloing out there. But really, the most important Zetas that you're never going to lose uh, value on. Unique Kylo. Hux unique. Sith Trooper unique. And First Order Trooper. You don't really need the First Order Stormtrooper, but it's nice to have nonetheless. Uh, so hope that helps you out a little bit on your push for eternal glory there. 
Uh, Pimpo, ha ha, I'm real. Good luck, buddy. Go, go, go. If you're, if you are real, message me right now on this. I'm paying attention to my Discord. If you don't message me in the next two minutes, you're fake. I'm putting you on the spot, Pimpo. I'm gonna be waiting for you. And hopefully it's no collusion between you and the real Pimpo. Uh, who else I got here? Ranger Theodore, 699, Grand Admiral. I've unlocked my first GL, SLKR, and Relic 8 with all to know. Man, you just rub it in. Rub in your glory on me. I'm 45% of my way to unlock Jedi Master Kelly. Man, fantastic. Love all that you do, and long live the Empire. Oh, people did mess. Okay, I guess, I guess that is Pimpo. All right, well. <laughs> That's it. That <laughs> sends me a Dwayne Johnson rock meme. <laughs> nice one. All right, Pimpo. All right, you passed the test. I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure it's you. I don't want anyone stealing your fine name and your business. You know what I mean? Uh, all right. What are we doing here? We were going to throw. I could do so much on this. This doesn't. There's really no one fast enough. I can Imperial Trooper this. Yeah, we can Imperial Trooper this. Um, Max Banners. Let's move on with our lives here. Uh, what do we else do we have? Fennec. 252. Uh, we can, the only other place I see myself using Imperial Troopers is on the Night Sisters. Uh, which, let's see. What do we have for Night Sisters? Yeah, really, if we're going to use Imperial Troopers, there's really only one other, other area. Uh, I say, if anything. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we just Imperial Trooper this so we don't lose any banners on Fennec. This should be a max banner battle right here. Let's make it happen. Where's my boy Chimi? Come on. I like when we do little back and forth action here. Oh, all right. Bounty. Let's get our not bounty hitters. Let's go ahead and get out our beautiful one of a kind Imperial Troopers. I'm just kind of kicking the can down the road of Aiden. I'm not using Imperial Troopers out there. That's for sure. Uh, we're going to bring you, you, you. And actually, we got Stark today. Okay. Let's go on in there. I actually don't even know if I need the full entire team, but let's just get max banners. And how about you move on with our lives here? Here we go. Let's go ahead and deploy your favorite garrison and mine. The Imperial Troopers. Let's play some ball, shall we? Uh, hopefully there's no like secret mechanic that gives them 5 million speed. Hopefully Wampa doesn't be a jerk and snipe a banner, but you know how things go. Sometimes they like to be a jerk. Here we go. Crank it up. Hit it. All right, let's roll this train. It's a little, it's a, it's a slow start. But once we get chugging, it's going to be choo-chooing, my friend. Okay, I say we do this. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess we're going for the opening swarm right now. All right, let's scope out some haters. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of Fennec. All right, she's out. We're going to throw the master on the Wampa. Let's go for it. Get him out of here. Get him out. Sweep him out. Don't got time for this. Go for the Lord of the, the big threat here. Embo. He's out. Good stuff. Let's keep this train rolling along, shall we? Let's get uh, get rid of Boba number two. Let's do it again. Basic. Let's go. Basics. Keep it going. In the grave. Coming right back out of the Sarlacc pit. I love the effort, but unfortunately, I got a place to go to, so get out. There we go. 65 banners. Very nicely done. Easy day for the Imperial Troopers, but what can you say? All right. Let's go ahead and move on over to the north side. Still waiting on Chimmy to show up here. Okay. I, I, I don't want to deal with this item problem. It's a problem. I, I've, I've been suppressing it for the whole stream. The app, the options that we're foreseeably seeing right now. Oh, that was a great use of verbiage right there. You got best guard Mando if we want to experiment, get a little crazy. You know what? I'm going to look for that Kiawe video. I saw the thumbnail, didn't have a chance to watch it. I just saw the thumbnail. It's like, you know what? It's Kiawe. Yeah. Kiawe has rarely ever led me astray. Um, you know what? I'm going to check it out. Uh, where's Kiawe? Uh, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe he never made a video on it. I could have sworn I saw someone use it. Let's go. Kiawe. Um, hmm. pretty sure. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm absolutely crazy. I could have sworn they had a video. I'm looking for the thumbnail. No, that's not it. That's not it. No, that's not it. I might be going crazy. I could have sworn. Okay, I, I might. I mean, it's not. It shouldn't surprise that many people, but maybe I've gone off the rails here. Maybe I've. Uh, Fennec Bounty Hunters, Bam Iden. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Iden, there we go. I, I, I knew it wasn't crazy. I saw the thumbnail. So let's see. Uh, the problem is they don't have Death Trooper. 
uh, that they were fighting. Not their, uh, not their fault. All right, let's just see how it rolls. Um, all right. Come on over, guys. Let's take a, a little investigation if this is going to be worth it. Because, man, if I, if I can get a use out of Beskar Manda there, that would be a bit beautiful. So come on over. The water is just fine, my friends. Uh, the video is called... Is Bam an answer for Aiden? Question mark, exclamation mark. So let's see. So it looks like here... The Bam team. Swarm attack there. Good. They got a healing that he's dirty. The cleanse. Okay. Are we going to poop? Oh, boy, man. Igel is not looking good here, man. This is scary. That is a scary situation. Oh, they have nest, though. I don't have nest. Mmm. 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 Yeah, oh, man. That's, that's, that's too scary for me. I'm sorry. I'm not... He's a brave person. I, that this is That's just scaring me right now. Way too many things things can go wrong there, it looks like for me. Bam can kill Aiden, it works. Uh, maybe, I just, it's a, a little scary. Maybe we'll end up doing it. Hmm, he, oh, I see. Okay, so, oh, Synergy just reached out. They said go a little farther into the video. All right, all right, we're gonna give it a second shot. Let's give him a second, second shot. Maybe it'll work. I just, you know, you don't want to screw up Aiden. That's one thing you don't want to screw up. She's got the, the whole bun thing going on. She means business. All right. Okay, here we go. So Synergy just reached out saying, fast forward, and there should be a Zalbar battle. Okay. Now this is... Uh, still, I don't have Ness, though. I don't got Ness. I don't know if Z uh, Ness is necessary. Let's take a look at... All right. Let's try it again. Take number two. Take number two. All right. So here, same drill. I right, gets mass swarmed. Okay. Oh, gosh. That's just nasty. Poor guy. All right. Damage immunity. We got the taunt on Zalbar now. I just don't have nest. Mmm. Yeah, like that's nice. That's nice. Like the nice thing about Mando, they can't revive, right? Off the off the nerfing birds. That's like if we can't kill them off. I, I can't imagine our team surviving long enough. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. Target straight. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Get the get the killing shot. Three, two, one, send it. Boom. It's a little tricky. I could see it working, but I don't know. Yeah, the death trip is what really concerns me. That's what concerns me the most. We have no Bo-Katan. I threw it a small on defense. Wampa with Mando. The problem is Wampa doesn't have a scoundrel tag, so Mando, if you don't got a scoundrel tag, he wants nothing to do with you. He will not take a look at you. Uh, Maul. You can only fail once. So really, I mean, I don't know how uh, Chimi's going to do the rest of this grand arena. Um, but when we were when we got through one zone, we were only three banners ahead, so I don't know where we, are, we currently are because they haven't taken any banners. I think they're, they're waiting. They, they're going to have to play soon. I'm going to stall as much as I can. Um, yeah, how do I deal with Ida? Grievous, scary. Treya, scary. Bounty Hunters, questionable. Qui-Gon, scary. My problem is if I use Qui-Gon and Anakin does the AoE when they have adapt or die, they're all kind of come back from the grave and they're going to have a, a grudge against me. All right, I'm going to stall a few more seconds. I know you guys, some of you hate it, but I, you know, we're, we're doing good. Let's not screw up on Aiden. Relic 8 Aiden, Death Trooper. Look at the look they're giving me. Some of them don't even want to look at me. That's how scary they are. Try two shotting star of Treya. I just, without any sort of uh, health recovery, it's not going to look good, guys. It's not going to look good. They are at work. Tell them the Flash is Kyber Club VIP card. <laughs> Have Chimmy tell his boss, hey, there's this crazy guy that plays a mobile game. He's streaming to 4 billion plus people. I kind of need to skip work. They would understand. Have him call me, Chimmy. Want my number? Have him call me. I'll vouch for you, okay? New Gunner's also a scoundrel. You could slow the item team down. Possibly. Um, 
I'd rather use Treya here. Let's use Treya and Mon Mothma. No need to Jawa Juice so we can call it a day. Freaking Iden, man. A team that was better than it should have been, probably. I don't have Barris. No Barris. We have no Padme. Bad Batch is gone. Wampa. We have no Wampa Omicron. Oh my gosh. A lot of votes on the... Uh, the uh, what's it called? The Inquisitor thing still. We're still. I forgot I had that vote up. I love the votes and the, the voices you guys are putting in there. Uh, while I stall for a few more minutes here. Uh, Icon of Sin. 499. My Relic 2. Wampa just won me GAC by beating a full Relic 7 Grievous team. No new. It's a real deal, man. Wampa's serious. I wonder if Wampa would have been nice here today. Wampa may have been kind of nice to have. Now that we can see, he can definitely solo a lot of serious teams out there. And then Darth Dorothy's two dollars. I wonder if SK can pull the executor out of the sky. Would be nice. I would definitely, I would definitely nice. Yeah, you're stalling. I know. I never stall. I'm probably the fastest player out there. I'm always boom, boom, boom. Qui Gon. I mean, we could use Qui Gon, but if Anakin gets stunned or they have Adapter die, they're all gonna revive Anakin, or he can't get the AUA. There's just I don't like counters that, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. Like, it's okay you have room for error. Some things might happen. But, like, there's just too many big, important considerations that you just don't know if you have control over. I mean, maybe my Grievous can pull it off. I'm guessing they have Omicron, right? They have the Omicron. B1's gonna kind of hurt me. Yeah, please be one of new. Yeah, I'm thinking um, that's what I want to do. Because the problem with B1, every single time this guy is going to assist, he's just going to heal up Aiden with that Omicron. So it's going to just cause massive problems. <sighs> There's people yet, yet again confirming that as them in chat. Yeah, we do have, we have Cam. I always like to overthink these things. Like, I, I'm going to go in here. It's probably going to be fine. But you know what? Um, things can go off the rails pretty darn quickly. Whoa. Well, yeah, get a buff the spell. There we go. Like, once Death Trooper's out, I'm feeling pretty good. Death Trooper's still alive, I'm a bit worried. All right, you know what? Screw it. I'm doing it. We're going to do it. AoE dispels. Uh, well, the AoE only dispels buffs if there's Padme. Padme, she uh, she was promised to another, unfortunately, so she's not here today. Incoming. Yeah, if Padme would always only dispel a buff, so we don't have that privilege, unfortunately, today. I'm going for it. And I promised I'd max out the song, so it's going to drown out my tears that we're probably going to end up spilling everywhere here. So, um... Always a bigger it's a big fish. Can't even hear myself talk right now. All right. So far, so good. Good dodge. Oh wow. Oh yes, 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 yes. Yes. All right. All right. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, you know, here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yes, yes! 360, around the world, to the face, 100,000! Get rid of that, yes! Wow, 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 we got, we got lucky on that one! Quick party!
It all just worked out. I don't even know who killed off Qui-Gon, but thank you. Not the prettiest, but there aren't a lot of great banner wins against Aiden. So 6-2 is actually not bad against Aiden, all things considered. Whew. Now we can breathe. Let's worry about the rest of these. We have a lot of ways to go about this now. I might not even need best card Mando for today. Yeah, 62 bands against Aiden. I probably don't want to suppress that much. That's actually really darn good against Aiden. <sighs> All right. What Sith Lords do we have? We got two ways that we can reasonably go about this. We got Grievous. Not pretty banners. Treya. Not pretty banners. Uh... Let me just let me just take a gander at what the local Sith talents looking like for today. Yeah, we got a little bit of that. Maybe a tank. Kylo Ren and Mass. Good. Relic eight Sith trio out of our minds. Then we can use Grievous somewhere else. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Save Nasa. No, we're gonna bounty hunter the the, the scoundrel team. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. It's a slow team. Down here is to probably get their contract popped off very, very quickly. No need. There's no need to Java juice this team today, guys. What's uh? I had enough heart attacks with Qui Gon. We don't need to Java juice it. Mara Jade, she's busy. She's uh, she's with Palpatine on defense and Star Killer. So I think feel like this should be should be okay. Should be okay, man. I I, I kind of wish I had the Womp Omicron today. We probably could have soloed this team. Uh, based off the footage we saw from the community. Uh, all right. Let's just do it. Yeah, let's just go. Hey, we Jawa juiced it last Grand Arena stream. Let the Sith Trio handle this. They're kind of designed to handle this. Well, oh. just watch out for the Kyle Katarn AoE. For some reason, I got a suspicion we're all just going to die in two seconds. But you know what? Let's enjoy the trip while we're here. You know what I mean? What's the name of that song? That's from our good friends LeBrock. And that is called Heartstrings. It is what we got playing over here. But now we got Takumi the Betrayer. Building us up. Our lost. mind and body. We're going to get lost, apparently. <sighs> Let's do it, baby. You ready? That is your fault, <sighs> not mine. You don't need to be full Sith. I need a tank. That's more important than full Sith right now. Let's again, let me just double check. What is the full Sith bonus here? Hold on. Uh, okay, we got, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, all we're missing out on really is the turn meter gain, I guess. I need a tank though. You know what, do we have Sith Marauder? Hold on, I think I have Sith Marauder. We got Sith Marauder, go, 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 go! Fine, all Sith, Carver Cup demanded it, you guys get it. If it falls short, I'm blaming you, not me. I'm, I'm not the one that clicked on it, you guys did. Okay, easy money, easy money, easy money. Let's go ahead, start throwing this out there, okay? Sith Marauder taking a lot of heat. Man, they're going all in on the poor guy. All right, well, he's kind of being our tank in an indirect way. All right, there we go, come on. All right. Oh, okay, that's fine. All right, it's okay. It's okay. Deep breaths, y'all. Deep breaths. Hopefully, I can get in here and have a turn. There it is. Give me some turn meter. There we go. Increase the cooldown. All right, not going to kill him off just yet. Uh, it's not going to do much. It's just a thought that matters. Let's reduce cooldowns over here. Okay. Let's get our held by hatred up in the bag. Probably can kill off more money here. If, oh, oh, come. Oh, come. Oh, come, now that is now you're just being a jerk. Get out of here. Are you kidding me? Can my scion have his turn? Scion is waiting for his turn. Please and thank you. You know what? No, get care out of here. Come on. Come on. Thank you. What a load of jerks. My gosh. Well, Rebels are the good guys. I completely disagree. Completely disagree here. All right, there we go. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Okay. There we go. 60 banners. Hey, Marauder did his job. Oddly enough, it was kind of a pretty decent tank. Two more teams left. Bounty Hunters. No need to think too much about this. Let's go for it. Bring out the Bounty Hunter love onto the hollow table here. Hmm. Uh, Aura Singh. No, 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 no. You're not the one I'm looking for. Aura. Mando. Free. Boss. Good old thing. Honestly, I don't even know. Don't even know. If I need the Omicron Zam, this is such a slow team. You know what? Part of me is kind of wondering. Do I want to get rid of Nest? I probably want to get rid of uh, Dash Rendar with the Annihilate. The Disintegrate, that's what I'm thinking. 
breaks. I don't want him pumping turn meter to the team. I feel like we should be good. I think I'm. Uh, I, I kind of. I'm considering maybe we just get rid of. Uh, how will you kill Ness? Mando. Mando. You guys forget what Mando does. He's better than the. Uh, I'm a, today's grand run. I'm most likely going to use the non-legendary Mando over the legendary Mando. Isn't that pretty crazy? Pretty nuts. Uh, Reese, Michael, how are we doing the five pounds? Good afternoon, Jay. Right back at you. Do you think we will see a Geo older public character? I think so. I, I'm definitely expecting a Revan Redeemed, Revan Reborn, whatever the heck the, the, the people like to label him as. I feel very confident we're going to get a Revan GL. It just makes, we have the requirements. You need both Darth or you need Jedi Revan. You need Malak. I, I, crazy high relics, probably. I'm definitely expecting it. Yeah, we're going to keep Zamit. Yeah, there's no reason to screw this up. Be careful, Nasty. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see how it goes. We're going to send it. I'm just waiting. I was, I was going to let his song finish up, but I'm going to, I'll cut it short. There we go. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead. Send him on it. Big Shot Gangster crew coming in here. Um... Maybe they'll surprise me and I'm going to regret doing this, but I feel like we should. We should be in a good situation here. Let's go for it. Okay. Let's go ahead taunt up. Well, we just got to make sure we don't let uh, Dash go too ham on us. Uh, we have to get rid of him since they do have the Omicron. All right. There we go. Mando's looking for a quick snipe here. I, I, you know what? I'm making it an executive decision. I know Ness will be a problem. I think we're going to be fine. We have stealth. You should be able to counter. Let's go ahead and eat him out. You agree? Three, two, one. Yay! There we go. Boom. They're out of the picture. Okay, let's keep the train rolling. Okay, let's see. We probably want to just finish up the job here. Let's go ahead and get Shoda low. Shoda's getting low. She's got the boots of the fur. Uh, we got to get this Vander fella out of here. I say we just do another mass swarm. Let's get rid of Vandy. There we go. Oh, man. Still alive. Holy cow. That did nothing on the guy. All right, it's talked up. Uh, let's go ahead and do we need an Uno reverse card? Nah, we should be fine. Okay, come on, boys and gals. Let's get rid of this Wookiee here. All right, basic. Let's see. Let's see if we can try to get Aura Sing to pop a hit. Almost there. He's gone. Not going to be home with the family tonight, but that's uh, not my fault. He wanted to go on defense. Let's see if we try to get rid of L3. Okay, we got some counters to deal with. They're probably going to be jerks. Mild inconveniences. We have an Una Reverse card. We're going to clean all this up. There we go. Una Reverse card got pulled out. Always got to have one of those in your pockets no matter where you go. Sure to get low. Let's make sure we can get as many people under stealth as possible. Holy cow. That was actually a little too good. All right. Now let's hope the Nest does not somehow solo this entire team right now. Okay. Basic. Okay. Topped up. All right. All right. You might lose a few more banners, but we just, we're just waiting for Mando to show up to the party. Once we're there, we're going to be good. Stun? No. Nope. There it is. There we go. You know what? Don't get worried. I know anytime there's a Ness solo, people start sweating. Take a deep breath. Mando's got this under control. Three, two, one. I think we're going to line up this shot. And there we go. Yay! Yeah, there we go. That's it. That's all I needed. 65 banners in the back pocket. We're doing pretty well on banners, I got to say. But I think Chimi... I got a report that uh, they called in the office... We wrote the Admiral's note to Chimi's employer. Chimi should be off the line right now, starting to put some battles in. Let's see what Chimi's got going on. Taking out Maul. What do we got here? They're going, they're going boom, boom, boom. They, they, had, they had all 24 hours to plan their back wall attack. 63 banners up against Maul, it seems like here. So they're putting some good banners on the board, but I think I got 64 against their Maul. Last team before we get the ships here. I kind of feel bad if I don't use, you know what? I, I'm going to feel, I'm going to feel a little bad if I don't use Beskar Mando. I, I kept him on offense. But you know what? Let's give him a shot. If he loses against Night Scissors, I'm going to call up CG support, have him delete him out of my roster. So I say, here's what we're going to do. Quill. Yeah. You know what? Fine. Bring in the whole, bring in the whole party. Bring in the whole crew. And, um... Dangar. We're feeling good about this. I just got, I got a weird, I got a weird feeling. I'm sure we'll be fine. I just have some weird feeling in the back of my neck. Uh, yeah, have them, have them delete on everyone's rosters while you're at it. Oh gosh. Oh, uh, Jesse Scholes while he's fall for one more second in case someone says don't use dad bod Boba Fett here. The DBB as the community has abbreviated it as. 
Uh, Jesse, uh, behind on stream, and the trooper train didn't get the first attack bonus banners. How does that work? Long live the Empire. Oh, let's see. Behind on stream, and the trooper train didn't get the first attack bonus banners. You're talking about me? I didn't use troopers as my first team. Uh, my first team I used was uh, Lord Vader. Uh, so basically, I think you're talking about the... Just doing one attack, you get 10 banners. That's it. Just for showing up and winning or losing your first battle. That's it. After that, it doesn't matter. So you know, it's only a one-time banner grant. So for those that don't want to put 100% participation, they just show up, they do one battle, full auto. If it wins, cool. If it loses, cool. And they get their 10 banners. They get their rewards. That's all it is, really. Yeah, at the end of the day. Incoming. Fennec is greater than uh, DBB. Yeah, she kind of is. Gonna bring a Fennec. Why not? All right. Dad bod granting. Uh, like people are calling the Grand Inquisitor chunky. I, I don't think that was, I don't think it was that. Just this head shape wasn't the shape of what the species was. Uh, don't get me started on the whole, uh, we need to love each other more and not hate each, on each other for disliking little things about Star Wars rants again. We got it out there. That's it. Fennec, not Boba. I'm bringing both in. I feel like they should get the job done. And if not, well, there's a reason why I don't use this guy that much. All right. We should be able to outrun him. Quill's going to say, I have spoken. Direct injection of the Java Juice should get me rolling. Hopefully, you can get a kill. No one's going to come back from the grave. Let's see. Like no, see you the see baby. the baby after I win. Okay. Java Juice. There we go. Uh, oh, what the heck? How is my... What? That makes no sense. All right. Just do basic for right now. I don't know why I went for her. All right. Poop stance. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Just do some AOEs. Okay. All right. Do some more of these. Uh-huh. All right, it's okay, babies. It's just a little minor inconvenience right now. Just a, we'll be fine. We'll be good. I say we go ahead and get rid of the big D here. Three, two, one. I would like to see the. There we go. Very nice. I need some banners back though. No, 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 no. I know he's the weakest member, but don't, don't, no, 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 no. Please and thank you. All right, come on. All right, get rid of him, I guess. Three, two, one. They're gone. All right, let's try to keep uh, him alive. Get some health back on the team. Here we go. Equalize. All right, I'm going to just go ahead and um, eh, just get rid of it. Come on. There we go. That's when maybe having the normal bubble that would have been a lot better. We could have just stopped the revive right there. Another AOE. Get some more armor shreds. Ah, uh, sure. Smash him. There we go. There we go. Come on. All right, let's go ahead. I need Quill alive here. Let's make sure Quill doesn't screw around. All right, all right. There we go. Nice resist. Good stuff. I, you know, just keep smashing him. Why not? There we go. Come on. There we go. Damage over time. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, uh, ping him. There we go. Do basic over here. All right, I need like one more good heal. One more good heal. I don't know why I passed it over there. That was kind of a dumb move. There we go. We're stalling, trying to get some banners back. That was a little too messy. Like to AOE. The there we go. No more sniping. No sniping. Sniper, no sniping. There we go. We might be able to pop it. I just need basic for right now. AOE. We'll take it. These battles are always so all over the place, man. It's like one She's second I'm down this. like 50 banners. Next second we're back to almost max banners. There we go. All right. Ship time. All right. Let's take a look at Chibi's progress. So far, it looks like this might come down to ships. Technically, we are one battle ahead in terms of efficiency, but, you know, it's only a couple of banner difference between my Lord Vader versus their dropped rate. Um, so we are looking all right. I, again, as I said, I think it's going to come down the ships. I don't think they're going to struggle with the north side. I'll be a little surprised if they do. They brought four Galactic Legends on the offensive for all those Kyber Club viewers. Funneling in a little bit on the later side of things because you probably figured we were still doing the intro three hours in. All right. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Baby, baby, baby. Okay. All right. No executor. So we have some um, toys that we're going to play around with today. Uh, Bob says no, no, uh, Bob says no, no Babu today. Okay, no Babu. Uh, so we have, uh, hey, boy, this is a sight to behold. I have Kenobi for the offensive today. Very rare. Does that ever happen? 
Now, Chimi, this is one of the downsides of me showcasing stuff I find out. They were smart enough not to put Anakin in the starting slot. Because if they did, I would have killed it off in two seconds. So I think here's what our game plan is going to be. We are going... Oh, could, ooh, 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 hold on, actually. Uh, we could do a few things. I could go ahead and... Um, we're gonna. We, here's the thing, guys. Spoiler. We have no malevolence. We have General Kenobi, but we're going to be trying out our Thai Interceptor. Thai Echelot. And I have a feeling Chibi knows that the King of Triple B, we kind of have the whole First Order thing in a good position. So it's kind of curious to see that they didn't put Executor down. I would rather take this, though. So, hey, if it scared him out of putting Executor, I'll take it. That's all good. Why wouldn't you put the Executor on defense? Because the First Order fleet's causing some complications and is more consistent than using the Malevolence. I still put it down on D because, you know, it's still new. People got to work out the kinks. I don't even have it perfected yet. But you don't have to be perfect to do pretty well at it. So what are we thinking, guys? My beloved viewers of the Comic-Con. Let me catch up on a few uh, super chats here. I'm thinking, uh, what is it? That's the... Yeah, I mean, we could just do our tie interceptor here, and then we could do negotiator down there. A lot of ways to play with this bloody legacy. You better believe it. The GA's all or nothing. Now, that's the Kyber Club model. The Kyber Club's all or nothing. That's how we do it around here, baby. Why did Gary kill Babu? It's not my problem. I don't know. Gary has this thing. I think people love him more. I turned 18 yesterday, says uh, Philip uh, Kvasoviec. The depends what it. I turned 18 yesterday. Osham Nasce. Can I hear the Polish? Stolat, stolat, nie żyje, żyje nam. Stolat, stolat, nie żyje, żyje nam. Jeszcze raz, jeszcze raz, nie żyje, żyje nam. Nie żyje nam. Happy birthday, Philip. Just for you, baby. May you live to 100 years and live even more beyond that. Let's make it happen, baby. I'm feeling it. You know what? Interceptor time. I don't know if I'm walking into a trap. I've never fought a negotiator. I didn't have the inner, uh, the Anakin to start off with. We're, we're going to learn something today. Ain't that right, Kylo? I know I told him about the 15-acre the property that I passed it because I had cow poop. You would have loved the forest, but I can't handle the scent. Although you probably... You, I'm not going to lie. These dogs would have loved to hang out with the cows and just smell their number twos all day. Cultured animals. What can I say? Ah, oh, you're tearing up. I know. I, I probably should have warned you guys that the angelic tonal presentation that I gave there um, may have unlocked a secret vault to your heart that you never thought existed before. So here's the Gleo. We got you. We got you. And we got you. And we got you, 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 you. Okay. Um... Kind of new stuff. We've been doing a lot of new stuff today. Lord Vader on offense. You got a good voice. I mean, I only won pretty much every talent show in high school. Led every single play, musical, uh, starting in football. I mean, I don't think that has any impact on my voice. But nonetheless, uh, I did make it through the first round of the voice auditions. I, I don't want to brag. I'm just, I just one of those things where I can't spoil you guys. It's only going to be in select instances where I can actually, actually, sing sometimes i do my stupid singing people are like oh you suck i like that you set their standards low so when you give them the real deal they're like holy cow you're actually not bad it's like yes that's how it works right now. you got to keep it a little bit of a surprise all right guys here we go we're gonna try something new here let's get into our experimental tie fighter i'm gonna get there in three two one boom all right all systems check test 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 one two three all right coordinates have been received gary yes ground control to gary's mom all right hangers open and we're off Crank it up. No, not crank a different song up, Gary. Stuff. Getting experimental. 
but that's why we're in the experimental TIE fighter. Here we go. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's fine. Let's go for it, baby. Let's hope Anakin and reinforcement won't cause a major problem. We'll find out in a moment, y'all. Here we go. Crank it. All right. No negotiating on my watch today. Let's go ahead, get some foresight. Dodge, oh, that's actually great. Here's what we're gonna do now. This is an interesting situation to be in. I guess we're gonna do this. A little early. Okay, we got the buff immunity on. I'm gonna do pursuit target. All right, let's see if we just go to Masoka. She's gone. All right. All right, okay, you're fine. Okay, let's go work in this bomber now, because it's gonna be a little annoying. Okay, we got Gar sucks in reinforcements. Let's do this. Oh, come on, seriously. I don't know what this does, but we'll go for it. Wow, that was great damage. So much 50% more damage. All right, let's just keep doing basics. There we go, 70. There we go. I think this might be Anakin. Oh, it's not actually, interesting. Okay, all right, we need to heal up a little bit. All right. Yes, demonstrate your power, please. Maximum power overload. Okay, basic. Here we go, get him out. Okay, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Mm, let's do this. All right, no unending loyalty still. Good stuff. Ah, uh, here's what I got planned out. Let's get some banners back here. All right. We're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay. Uh, is there a chance to target lock? Uh, sure, 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 sure. 52,000, that's a bit better. Just a little bit. Give me some target lock, foresight. All right, not too shabby. Let's get that off. Do the buff immunity. And oh, come on. Oh, come on, Annie. Why you gotta come in and jack my banners last second? Well, this is what you get. You get what you deserve! Uh, I gotta say, dang. We freaking 69 this fleet, baby. Holy cow! Great job! Chimera, actually a real deal now. My own. That's a lot of banners for fleets right there. Holy cow. Woo! I like that. All right, one more battle to go here. Uh, Malevolence. Now, let's just not screw up. That's our game plan here. Let's check and see how our good friend Chimi's doing on the blue side of the hall table. Last Galactic Legend down as expected. Four GLs, no excuse not be able to gain through my four GLs. Um, all right, we got a few ways to go about this. I have not done a negotiator versus malevolence battle in goodness. Uh, seven months? It's been a minute. I would think this is the safer option in Rebels. Good news is we should have room to drop at least one battle. They dropped one, we got some pretty dang good banners so far. Uh, but I gotta admit, I... I honestly don't remember how to play these battles here. Tactical scanners, we had to clear out the database, put in new intel, and I guess we must have cleaned out how the heck to do a malevolence battle. Um, what do I want to do here? I guess maybe so good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It should be good, right? You still got the echo? Okay, I'll turn it down for you. There we go. Does that sound better? Yeah, I, remember, I know we just got to kill the hyena. Um, I, I think we'll be fine. Oh, or even gonna try tie echelon. Ooh, man, we got a lot of. I, for the first time, I mean, granted, there's no executor on defense. I feel like I got so many ways to play with this defense here. I mean, we should be good, right? Counselor for battles, I kind of uh, yeah, I kind of agree. I think counselor might be better for banners here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. not a bad call, paid though. Cut on us. I'll take it. Fives instead of Ahsoka. Maybe. It's so weird. I we did this for how many years? Well, to be fair, I rarely use negotiator on offense, even when that was the meta. I was always sticking to Rebels and Radis back in the day, so it's been a hot minute since we've done this. We should be good at
What if they lose the Executor Mirror Match? A very good possibility. Uh, Executor Mirror Matches are not pretty. I can guarantee that for you. Mm. All right, one more scan through here. Let's see what we got. Nazis hitting my heartstrings. Feeling good? Yeah, basic fives on Sunfac, yeah, I know that trick. The basic trying to get Sunfac to come out a little bit earlier. All right, maybe I just do it. Hope for the best. Hopefully it all comes together. And if it doesn't, well, whew. It's going to be a little messy, if you ask me. Okay. I'm doing it. Let's hope all the years of doing this will come back. You guys ready? We haven't played this song in a very, 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 hot minute here. Where is it? Well, I can't even find it. It's been such a long time. Democracy time. There we go. Basic on Hyena's lit. We're going to do it. Hello there. <sighs> Let's just hope it doesn't fail us. Hello there. Y'all ready for this? Let it build up. Hello there. Let's do it. Send it. Hello there. Hello there. Another happy landing. All right. Send it in. Okay, we got a lot of this. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a AOE over here. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, five should hopefully get a nice big Puma in here in a moment. Let's get rid of this right here. Good stuff. Five, let's go, baby. Ah, uh, maybe I messed that up. I will find out in a moment. Hit him. There we go. Vulture's out. We're gonna bring another one in. All right, looking pretty snazzy. I probably overthought this, but hopefully you guys understand. Never over, never underestimated it. this matchup right here. All right, let's go ahead and blow. Turn meter, get him out. And here we go, let's hurry before the spy comes out. Come on, come on, come on. Unending loyalty. Okay, basic. Oh, I'll finish it up, finish it up, finish it up. Oh, come on, finish it up, finish it up, fives. Fives, finish it up, there it is. There we go, nicely done. Nicely done, 72 banners. That's putting Shimi in a very tough spot, but they're a great player. Over 1 million lifetime points. So never underestimate Sins of the Father being backed up into a corner. Ladies and gentlemen, actually, what, what is their lifetime score? Let's check it. I forgot to give their guild a shout out. Wolfpack, over 1 million. I believe it's the same guild as Fatal. Give him a round of applause. We'll come back in a moment, but of course, give a round of applause to yours truly, because dang, that wasn't all that bad. Let's go ahead and park this puppy, and let's get on over to the free-to-play, shall we? All right, all right, all right, calm down. All right, all right. Guys, it's too kind. Hold on, I got to get through the elevator on this thing. Oh. Too shabby. Eh? Ship's going smoothly. I want my next opponent, whoever you might be. I can't hear myself, guys. You guys gotta calm down the applause. A little bit less. Let's dial it down a few decibels. We're not even done with the second Grand Arena. I'm a little disappointed we didn't get to try our Executor counter, but the Chimera on point. Negotiator. 
No negotiate. We don't negotiate with separatists. They're out. I think I got to say it's great to be at the Empire today. Some of the highest scored fleet battles I've seen in a good hot minute. Let's go ahead. Hop on over to the free to play. We'll come back to Chimi. Can they work through the adversity of the score we put on the board? Stay tuned. And we're going to find out. Woo. Oh, how did you teleport from the tie to here? Uh, we have a secret little uh, tunnel. When you dock the tie fighter, you go back, you go down. You ever see like the pipes from Mario? I don't know why you guys don't do that more often on planet Earth. Yeah, nice not facing exec for the first time in a while. Yeah, I honestly think uh, 1708. Holy cow, that's actually a pretty darn fantastic score. Uh, normally, because we, we we play very aggressive on defense. So usually me and my opponents, we kind of stay somewhere in like the 1620, 1680s. Uh, very good today, Kyber Club. Very good today. You know what? <laughs> Not putting Lord Vader on defense, I think, was a good thing because um, always Incoming the biggest weakness donation. to my roster on my defense. Let's get him off. N enough of this halftime show garbage I had to see with him. Uh, let's see how Chima's going to do. Uh, boy, that's a lot. I mean, they have an executive rematch. Those could be 66 banners, 65 if all goes well. We'll have to wait and see. I put, I mean, spoiler alert. I mean, I'm sure Chimmy can figure this out by now. We threw Malevolence on defense. You know, mix it up. I mean, it's not invincible. Um, they could definitely work their way around it. But I'm a bit disappointed that we couldn't try a tie echelon. I think now, if, if they don't, I hope the, I hope the goodness, they don't nerf the tie echelon. Beautiful ship. I think it was needed right now. Not 100%, but better than the Malevolence counter. And man, the fact that I, I don't know, what, I'm going to talk to Chima. I have him on Discord. I didn't even see him reach out to me. I got to reach out to them afterwards. I wonder if they didn't put Executor on defense because they knew I was going to do that uh, echelon counter. If that's the case, I love it. Uh, okay, we'll come back later and see how they're doing. Uh, free to play, uh, I'm not going to lie, is um, that ain't going to be pretty. Uh, they're getting to the back zone. Let's see, is there. Eh, we'll see how it goes. Let's all give them. All the RNG he's going to need to put up whatever score he needs. Luckily, we didn't drop a single battle for today. Uh, Team Money's leader of Wolfpack. I, I haven't heard from Team Money one. Did they, like, change their name? I have yet to see him in the top 50. I know Team Money is very hush-hush uh, about her strats. Like, she, I mean, and I totally get it. You know, you want to kind of, she's a very competitive person, wants to keep things under wraps. Um, I wonder if she changed her name. Because I have never, I have yet to see her, I think. Unless I completely missed it in, like, the top 50. I've seen good old Maurice there. So unless yeah, Team Money hit her name, I'd be surprised why I haven't seen her at that point. But yeah, Team Money, I believe, is the leader of Wolfpack, if I'm correct. Uh, Fatal's in that guild as well. I might be completely wrong. I'm pretty sure he's either in Shadowlands or Wolfpack. Uh, one of the two here. 30 billion watching, only 1k likes. Apparently, people didn't like my story about my kindergarten experience. I don't know. I thought that was kind of funny to share. Oh, whatever. No, we're not doing Conquest. Let's get into this Grand Arena. It's not going to be pretty, guys. Uh, with every ying, there's a yang. We did pretty darn good last week. We got bumped up the bronzium four, moving up the food chain, and then move up the food chain. We did. We got vet onasi. They have a lot of good relics, a lot of good zetas, and uh, but the, the pain will be over soon. We'll show you a little roster update. I can taste Kylo. I'm tasting him. We're so close to the electrum conductors, and we're good. Uh, Paco Bauer, how are we doing to the five heroes? Hope everyone's all right. Back in the motherland with everything going on next door. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you're talking about my motherland or just the motherland in general out there. Uh, I, I think I told you guys, my babcha in Poland was very close to the border. And she was telling me how things are pretty crazy out there right now. So, um, but yeah, again, I told you guys, I we all know there's crazy stuff going on. I'm here to try to help you guys have fun. Forget about the world for a while. I hate when I go to somewhere. I just want to have a good time. And I'm reminded about everything. It's like, trust me, I see a 25-8 on the Twitter feed on the news. So, uh, yeah, I, all I can hope is that whatever is going on right now, it doesn't go on much longer. It hurts to see that. Why can't we just live in peace? Why? Just for a few seconds. Just for a few seconds. Uh, we have Bloody Legacy. Uh, I got you. Uh, we have a Philip. Congrats on that birthday, my friend. Uh, Baron Lewis, did I get you? Yes, Revan Redeemed is just JK. Revan Reborn, that's what I'm talking about. Revan Reborn is the two saber Revan. Very much dark sides. The Tell and Malagus are, most, are more likely. Shadow Revan was trash, anyways. Oh, come on. They're good. You know they're going to milk Revan. Revan was the most, I think, the most profitable thing they may have ever done in Galaxers. That month was just huge. Um, yeah, I, they, I'm I got to say, I'm surprised they haven't done more. Well, let's see what we could try to do here. We have a Jedi Knight Revan, and unfortunately, ever since they buffed him, Mara Jade counter is very inconsistent up against him, unless I can somehow outrun him, but 239... Might be a tall order to fill. Oh, we'll, we'll check the speeds out. Grievous. I don't think I fought a Grievous. Double Zeta. Mm, boy. 
We got a lot of stuff we got to work through. We have these fools over here at lower gear. But Commander Luke with the Han crew, you know, you don't want to sleep on him. Don't want to sleep. So I think the main threat is we got us. Oh, actually, let's see. How, how do they do with our defense here? Let's check it. Yeah, one shots across the board, it looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see. Did the R2 lead hold up? Oh, we did HK lead. I'm surprised. Level 1 did not hold up any fight, unfortunately. So, it's not going to be pretty. Well, you know, sometimes that's just how it's going to crumble. So, the first thing we got to do is, can we work around this? And unfortunately, from my experience, um, it used to work. And then CG was like, no, we can't have that. Even though Revan's such an old character, I'm surprised. Well, they buffed him because I think they weren't happy with Mara Jade being such a good counter to Jedi Master Luke. So they had to kind of even the ground a little bit. And to be fair, you know, I do have a super low McGarr and Mara Jade. So I can't complain that much that she dies right away. I'm sure if she was higher geared, she'd probably soak up that storm attack, but uh, not on the radar anytime soon. She's getting her job done. It's just these battles. They cause some complications. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, we're punching up a pretty solid deal here. Uh, what do I want to do here? Let's maybe throw in, unless, hold the phone for a moment. Where's my Thrawn? Oh, he's right there. Uh, Tarkin, I'm looking for Tarkin. Where's Tarkin? There he is. Uh, so let's check it out. Let's do some boomer calculations. We got uh, 239. Okay. 230. Oops, 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 oops. No, why am I, why? Oh, well, he's getting how much speed here? He gets what? Uh, five, five. Okay, so we're looking at 10, 20, 30, 40. So 239 plus 40. That's a lot of speed on him. Can Vader try to mount a comeback here? We're at a 215. Okay, I, I think we might be able to run that. 279, that's the number to beat. 215 plus, what are we gonna do here? We gotta add a uh, 16 for Vader. Uh-huh. Add a 16 for Palp. Uh, eight for Mara. Eight for Throne. Eight for you. Okay, we'll be able to outrun him. Troopers will do better. I can't outrun him though, I think. Troopers, I would like more if we can keep a train rolling. Uh, let me see here. So we, Vader can outrun him. The question is, if I can't get a turn to train out, Revan's going to mark Mara Jade, and it usually goes down south very quickly here. Imperial Troopers, let's take a little gander. Can we outrun 279? Let's check out Gidster. Oh, little too short. Just a little too short. 255 is what we have on him right now. So unfortunately, not quite enough. That's when having higher gear would be nice. We have a lot of speed potential that we're missing out. So I think Vader's going to have to be our best bet. Uh, on no, he's going to call him to assist. Yoda's going to get turn meter. Yeah, I don't want to screw around with that. So look, it's looking like we're going to have to do this. Check Yoda speed. That is probably a very good point. But I mean, Vader's going to outrun him. There's no way. Yeah, Vader's going to outrun these guys. He's, he's in the 300s right now. Uh, Tarkin lead? I uh, know. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 255 plus 20, that's 275. So we're four speed too short. Combine Imperial Troopers and Vader? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not quite sure if that's going to make anything work here. Um, yeah, I think we just got to accept it and go for it. Veersley, yeah, Veersley, he gets 20, but 279 supersedes 275. So we're giving her a little outgunned in terms of speed right there. Vader leaves. So why, why do I want to do Vader lead with Grand Moff Tarkin? I want to run a circle around them, because if I let them take a turn, we're falling, but we're going to fall apart. Moff leader troopers, and how are you going to gain turn meter? The Veers lead's important for the turn meter gain, and the, the constant train. V Tarkin's going to shut down the train. Have you ever leveled up your item? I have not, although I have been eyeballing it. It's definitely something I've been wanting to do, but uh, to be honest, I haven't really upgraded much before this Grand Arena started here. Kind of just like signed up and that's it. I do have a five-star finalizer, so we're good to go on that. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to go YOLO and just hope that we can try to keep a good train rolling. Yeah, it's not going to be pretty. You want to first sort of stuff? Faz was not going to do crap here. Yeah, Faz is not going to do much. Yeah. All right. Let's see if these guys can handle the heat here. 
If we don't get a good train rolling, it's going to be pretty disappointing. I don't think it's going to work out, guys. I mean, I'm not going to get enough debuffs on him. I'm only going to get one ability block, and that's it. I'm only going to get one ability block. I don't think this is going to work out. All right, let's just uh, YOLO. I don't think it's going to go pretty here. I need more debuffs to get a train rolling. One ability block isn't enough train. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. It's unfortunate Vader can't just rip off all the buffs. That'd be so nice. All right, let's just um, do this. It just drop some ability blocks where I can. This is just not going to be enough turn meter. She's going to die. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, I just don't quite have the right team to handle this. Maybe I can pull something off here, but it's not looking pretty. Without Mara Jade, we're not going to go far. Hey, that's actually a nice stun. Um, okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Okay. Hold on. Mounting a comeback here. All right, just give me a moment. I'm let, let Papa do what he does best. Stall and figure things out on the go. We like we like to play kind of off the hip here. It's kind of our play style. Let's try this now. All right. Uh, I'm going to just go for Yoda. Let's get some ability blocks on him. He's going to probably counter. That is what it be. All right. I'm going to try to get an ability block over here. Force Crush Revan. All right, let's get some turn meter off him. There we go. Basic, let's hope we don't let him cleanse because that would be a bit of a problem if we let him cleanse on us here. Oh boy, I think I might actually cleanse him. Don't cleanse, don't cleanse. Ability block right now. Okay, let's hold on to the fort a little bit. Okay, that's fine. He wasn't doing much anyways. Basic. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, it's game over. Oh, we got, we were kind of making some progress right there. But yeah, ever since they buffed him, because sometimes you would get lucky and they would mark Tark, and it's like, okay, I didn't need him anyways. Send him off to the bank. Um, Yeah, once they buffed Revan, so he always targets Mara Jade. I haven't been able to uh, play with this, but I think I need to... If I geared her up, I think we would, we'd be able to survive that initial swarm. And we'd be... I mean, let's at least finish up. Maybe we can, maybe we can clean up. But at this point, once you drop a battle, we're not going to get far uh, with this Grand Arena here. Yeah. Uh, we were getting close to something. But yeah, Mara J just a little too low of a gear to handle that full send on uh, Jedi Knight Revan, unfortunately. Need more gear, but that's the name of the game, isn't it? Need gear off everyone. Let it time out so we can clear of Geos. I mean, here's the problem that I have with a roster of, of limited accessibility. You don't have the spare teams laying around that you can clean up with. I literally, especially in a full clear scenario, you only have really one team per team. Like, I'm, I'm going to be short a team now. Uh, that's just that's just the name of the game. We're, we're short exactly one team. I only have, I think, uh, five teams for offense, and that's it. Uh, the once one falls is done for. We have, let's see, Phasma, Geos, Imperial Troopers. Yeah, I, and then Kylo Soul. I only have legitimately four teams left, and there's five teams left. So unless there's some Garbanzo Beans, which is probably not, we're out GP'd on this account. So most likely, it's going to be something at least of mild gear on the back. So we're not going to full clear. That's it. That's just how it's going to be for today. Um, let's see. Let's at least try to take as many as we can to the grave. Um, you know what? Let's do it. I want to try my tie echelon. If we don't get through this, Revan, my gosh, I'm going to have nightmares tonight. Let's do it. Geno's, let's see if we can try to get through this with their one Jedi down. We might be able to make something happen here. What do you think, Chief? Well, I don't know. He's got him tucked in the back corner here, but let's see what's going to happen here in three, two, one. Let's go send it on in. Windu. Are we going to get through or is the party over? Party, party, all right, he doesn't have a lot party, of optimism like party, I do. Party, so let's see what we can make happen here. Party, 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 all right. Party, okay, party, great start. Mm -hmm. party, party, we'll get him turned here in any second now. Any moment now. Okay, looking pretty good. All right, we got a turn, y'all. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, let's see what we can make happen. I'm just going to go ahead. There we go. That's number one. Okay, spread all those buffs. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try to work over here. All right, 
to stick with me a little bit do a buff the spell no sun fat counter okay well we might not even get through this at all okay well that didn't work out too well what do you what do you know who knew that throwing gear uh eight geos would re result into that you know what i'm already i've already made it this far we're gonna i'm i'm fully dedicated to this we're getting through this you know what i or hold on here's what we're gonna do here's what we're gonna do there we go what could go wrong gear seven seven nine seven eight nine yes i know how to count what could go wrong here guys we're doing it i'm i'm getting through i want to try my tie echelon i got the four stars on the free to play account all right this part Okay, window, you don't need to rub it in, dude. You don't need to rub it in. Okay, well, the problem is now we don't have the Veer's uh, lead in place. Or his or we have his Zeta in place, I should say. All right. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, let's do it. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, just hold on, hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. All right, hold on. Hold the phone. Let me do my thing. Let's see what we can make happen here. How's turn meter looking? Yoda's looking a little hungry right now. Okay, let's go, come on. Uh, let's go. There we go, do it again. Oh, uh, you know, there we go, there we go. There we go, almost there, oh, you're almost there. You're literally, you're at the front door. You're at the front door. Let's not, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to do this first. There we go. Unfortunately, we have no veer, so we have no turn meter push now. Oh, shoot. That sucks. Um, I could do a few things. How's Jolie's cooldowns right now? He just did the revive, right? He just did the revive. If we can hold it, I can bring the first order clean up in. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I think that, I think it maybe just park it here. Probably just park it here and keep it rolling, huh? What do we think? I think that might be a good game plan. You didn't revive? Go for Revan. I promise, I don't want him reviving Yoda. And what for Grievous? Well, then just rip, rip a Roni. You know what? Screw it. We're going all in on Revan. Oh, he's got the counterattack. And that's not going to work out. The problem is, though, we are going to be a bit short on, um, I mean, uh, maybe we can Kylo Ren solo. We can maybe Kylo Ren solo, squeeze our way in there. Let the boy go on a temper tantrum. Might be in a good situation then. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go into Jolie. If I hit him, he's gonna reduce his cooldowns by the counterattack. Like that was a secret. I just making sure that uh, no one else did a revive. So, all right, time it out. Let's see if maybe Phasma can <laughs> work her way through the Revens. Be gone, bot! Get these bots out of here. Get them out of here. There we go. I, I swear, I, I swear, we've had this bot hidden several times. I don't know how they keep showing up. No idea. Ah, uh, Reginald Brown, five dollars. How are we doing? Missed my first super chat. I have a G twenty six two hundred three K Doctor Doom that still gets uh, beat up at RT. Speaking of Doctor Doom, I'm uh, I'm in the last three nodes of uh, Doctor Doom. Kind of excited. Kind of excited. Still gets beat up in RT. <laughs> I heard Dormammu. I, mean, I might be wrong. Isn't is, I heard that I was looking for Dormammu. But I heard that he's, I don't know, I've heard such mixed opinions of Dormammu. Not a lot of people have him, though, from what I can tell. But yeah, I'm almost getting Dr. Doom, though, myself. Um, I'm, I, I, I fled, like, I just literally flew through the whole city nodes. And boom, we're almost done with it. How's the day going, G? Oh, pretty darn good. Actually, it might be even better. Ah, uh, looks like that might be it, y'all. That's all, folks. And I'm guessing that was an executor mirror match. 
Nethy ended up doing there. Um, I, that's why I'm in the market. Just put your executor down because executor mirror matches are atrocious. Uh, that's for sure the win right there. So there we go. Sins of the Father, aka Chimmy. It's great seeing you over here. We got two nice, solid defensive wins on him. And that should seal the deal for us today. Unfortunately, we couldn't do the tie on, but I'm sure next time we'll be able to check it out and uh, maybe make something happen out of it. But there we go. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, they cross the finish line there. So there we go. I'm, I'm, I'm doing even better today, my friends. Uh, who else do I got here? Sarfa Johns, 14 months in the Kyber Cup. How are we doing, my friend? <laughs> Easy one shot executor today in GC with the finalizer and tie on Fantastic news. Thanks for the tips on making it work. Long live the Empire. I need one more echo. Long live the Empire. Tyatron's a huge deal. It's a huge deal. Uh, it's, 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 it's always one of those things. Some people just don't want to accept it when I say, yo, guys, this is something serious. Like, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And then two seconds later, CG's like, this is too dang good. We might have to nerf it. I'm telling you, when you're here, you're always on top of the game. That's what I like to say. Well, now, if you're 1.3 million, I might not be the go-to for that because, you know, just wait. Once we get Supreme Leader Kyra, my opponents are going to be crying. We're literally going to get the Kyber one, the second Supreme Leader Kyra's on our roster by next month. Crazy, I think it could be a month now that we could have it. I should have had it by now, but we got a little lazy around the Great Earth of 2021. All right, here we go. Let's make it happen. Final attempt here. We're going to save Kylo. We're going to go for the Hail Mary, and he's not full of grace, and the RNG just most likely won't be with the I'm going for it. And we're not going to screw around here. All right. So far, nasty. Okay. Okay. Come on. It's only three Jedi. Guys, it's literally only three Jedi. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean you up. I'm going to go for Bastla first. Don't want to go into the battle meditation. Let's pop them. Turn meter through the veins here. Holy crap, man. Can I just, like, survive for two seconds here? All right. Come on. Come on, baby. Clear up the foresight. There we go. Assist. All right, come on. No. Holy freaking crap. And this is why I want to get Jedi Revan soon. So close to getting him as well. Three characters. I mean, granted, it's geared 12, 13. So, yeah, it's kind of getting my butt spanked. Well, there goes that. You know what? I'm going for it. We're going for the... We're doing it one more time. I'm bringing in Kylo Ren. We're dumping the full roster on Revan today. I'm throwing all of my... All the firepower. You know what I'm going to do? Droidica. Let's make his day horrible. You know what? Why don't I just bring more? Yeah. There we go. Here we go. We're going for it. Droidica's going to literally light this team up on fire. Just watch and see. Here we go. All right. Yeah, they're going for the big gun. Oh, you know, okay. Come on. There's three of them. You go all in on Kylo. We got two other friends there that you can be playing around with. All right. Well, fine. Use your buff this spell. I'll do this. All right. Royal Guard doing an amazing job. Hey, took the mark. All right. Okay. Let's play. There we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Keep it coming. I uh, keep it coming. I don't know if that, I don't think they even went through savior. <laughs> All right. Well, die with honor. There we go. You tried your best, Droidica. Well, there we go. We dumped our whole roster in the Revan right there. All right. Well, at least we got the win. We're accounted the most. Let's see if Chimmy's going to be getting a one shot on our beloved malevolence here. And let's see that final score. Come on, Jimmy. We're waiting. I think the next few Grand Arenas might be pretty nice. Um, I have uh, a couple of my guildmates in the... There it is. 1680. So a 28-banner margin of victory. Not too bad. For the Kyber Club, ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Dreads, give a round of applause. The sins of the Father. And if you feel like, you know, give one to yours truly as well. We had a great time today. And let's see what it's looking like. For I don't know what the, the the situation is, but there Caps Kings in my new guild. Synergy moved up with me to my new guild. Uh, so deaf, they want revenge on me. That's gonna be another content creator showdown that uh, they're gonna want to get some revenge on me this next week. If they have the opportunity, are they okay? I think I fought them one time. Eduardo, I don't think I fought them. Sins of the Father, we had a great matchup today, and I believe yeah. So we have a couple people. I'm hoping we match up with Synergy. Fantastic person, fantastic player, and maybe uh, we could do something. Something fun and exciting. Let's see where the leaderboard's at. Uh, that, that, that hasn't reset yet, has it? No, it hasn't reset yet. All right, we'll check it out in a moment. Let's do a mini free-to-play account update because I am very excited for how close we are to the finish line here. We're going to get some big firepower going on soon. Matthew Town, how are we doing? My free-to-play. Relic girl, oh, by the way, 569, you cheeky. You cheeky one. 
Uh, Relic crew just held against a Gear 12 Qui-Gon Omicron, baby. And a Relic Vader team to win this GAC round. That deserves a long live the Empire. I'm gonna crank that up, Gary, when I'm saying that. Also, I just sound like more of an idiot. Yeah, Relic 7 crew is a... Uh, it's a big deal, which by the way, we have our first Relic 7. Boom. Looking pretty darn good. That's one down. In case you missed me saying it earlier, for those that care more about the free-to-play than most other people do here. Uh, we're very close to a, a Relic 7 here. We, I had, I believe, a thousand something Conquest currency hoarded up. Bought a ton of Gear 12 stuff to scrap into Electrum Conductors. I went ahead, got 10 Electrum Conductors out of the 500 Crystal Pack, which by the way, that's what... I wish they did more Crystal purchases, not just dollar amounts. Uh, like, man, imagine if they sold these for like $10 worth of Crystals. Man, people would be all over that. But these packs have been pretty darn good. These, uh, I like the fact that you don't have to actually like, spend physical money. Had 500 something, bought ourselves some Electrum Conductors, got 10 out of those packs. I'm kind of tempted to maybe just hoard my crystals and just buy it. Because worst case scenario, you get five, right? Which is kind of about what you get with 500 crystals worth of energy. Uh, so at the minimum, I'm kind of feel like I'm breaking even. At best, you know, you can probably get a nice decent payout out of this stuff right here. So, uh... Incoming donation. We're getting really close, though. Let me show you. I think, uh, we, I, think I only need 30 more. Where are we at? Yeah, so Kylo Ren's going to take another 40. And then really, uh, yeah, we just need 30 more. No, actually, I don't know, 40. Yeah, so we just need 30 more. And we're going to be pretty good to go. So, uh, patience, and then it's just going to come down to the energy grind at that point. You mean the Grand Inquisitor? Uh, Dark Territory, Mr. Subject. Yeah, we're going to catch him on Super Chats at the moment. Let me see if there's maybe like a hot territory battles I can play in the background uh, or something in the meantime. Uh, actually, I probably should run through some conquests on the free-to-play. It's actually the first time our conquest has been very helpful for my free to play. I've been, I haven't been really spending my conquest tickets as much on the free to play because, you know, don't really need it as much. So, but then finally came in handy. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can just full auto some of these things here. All right, go get in there. Just give me some tickets so we can buy some more gear. Why is conquest so trash? Now, hey, this isn't even as bad. It was a bit worse several months ago. Definitely not as bad back, th uh, not as bad as back then. There we go. Get rid of them. Let's see if we can do this real quick. Hold on. Let me pay attention for a moment because this team's actually a little finicky. Uh, let's just do this. The damage over time should kill him off. I'm going to go ahead and stun Vader so he doesn't start running a train around me. Do a little bit of this. There we go. And let's go ahead and pass it on over here. Maybe I could get a nice AoE happening. Probably should have thrown some advantage on us. Can I get a counter? There we go. We got a nice counter. And that's fine. Okay. Get some thermals going. Hold on. Hold on. All right, hopefully they don't... Yeah, it could be worse. Could be worse. There we go. They should get tons of thermal detonators, and they're gone. Should be able to full auto now. There we go. All right. There we go. Don't screw it up. All right. Are you doing hard conquest of free to play? I haven't even unlocked it yet. I'm doing just the normal mode for right now. All right. Who did I miss here? Sarpa Johns. I got you. Congrats on that tie echelon counter. Glad that pulled off a big one for you. We have uh, Quit. Quit a X. Man, that's a lot of X's in there. Do you think Clone Wars Chewie will get an Omicron? I... Listen, Wampa got an Omicron. Anything's possible. I know the AP Gaines been preaching. It's one, It's going to happen one day. They're like, just watch their words. It's going to happen. A cup Omicron. Uh, I think almost anything can get Omicron. If it's a normal character that's not Galactic Legend, anything's fair game. I don't... I'd be surprised if they do Galactic Legend Omicron. That's not going to appeal to me if they have to put an Omicron on a Galactic Legend. That's just my two cents, though. All right, here we go. Push them turning through the veins here. We have Ace the Boss 10. How we doing? Hope you're doing well. Thank you for your patience. The two Canadian Bakeroonies. Hi, all. Today's my birthday. Oh, the Empire. I just love the enthusiasm you guys bring. It's always great to see. Happy birthday, my friend. Stolat, Stolat, Nyazuzyanam, as we sung for our beautiful friend earlier on. Uh, we have... Um, Holy cow, how far did I fall behind here? A bloody legacy. Ships could really cause some danger. Streams looking at bloody legacies, picking up the slack for Kadar since Kadar is a little too busy today. We got the Midrib King. $3. How are we doing, my friend? Uh, thank you for that $3, but no comment associated with it. And then uh, Alex Hill said, did they update the TB hero list? They have not. Same thing. I mean, like, no, technically they, well, not recently, but they updated it for Commander Sokotano. 
But since then, they haven't really made any changes to it. It's pretty much the same drill ever since then. Uh, quit killer reminding you if you had a good time please let the algorithm know this and by smashing that like button making sure you subscribe triple click the bell icon so you guys never miss a single video all that fun stuff quit killer you should be taking over my job because i always have a hard time reminding people to do that stuff chibi nine coming in good sportsman like nice win good game chimmy it was great seeing it's been a hot minute since we played i feel like it's been what like five months since we met last time maybe a bit more maybe a bit less so it's great seeing you with these changes I'm sure we're going to meet again. You're a fantastic player. I'm sure we'll see you again in the top 50 neck of the woods at some point. Uh, who else did I got here? Bonzi guy with the bro. Been here the whole time while also signing my next contract. Solid work today as always. LLTE, my friend. Man, look at Bonzi guy pulling off some big plays left and right, man. Never a dull day for you, my friend, is it? Uh, Reginald Brown. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I missed that one. But yeah, Dr. Doom, I, you know, I, I will admit, I don't really play RTA that much. It's definitely, um, <laughs> what, what does Mobile Gamer call it? Real-time auto. <laughs> oh, man. All I hope is that their, um, their Grand Arena mode, in case you guys don't know, I keep tabs on at least three other games that are similar genre to Galaxy of Heroes. Uh, and then I play other games, of course. But I, I, like, I love the Hero Collector games. It's a lot of fun. I hope they add a private sandbox mode for their Grand Arena just so they can just, like, the CG. And they can look like bigger fools. So that's what I'm hoping for. But they have uh, they have some um, kinks to work out with their Grand Arena system here. Uh, they're trying, they're, they're mixing it up a little bit though, which I appreciate. Uh, but I gotta say this Grand Arena, I mean, maybe it helps that there wasn't really a game mode like it to compare it to. When Grand Arena first came out, slam dunk game mode. I honestly don't know if Gra Galaxy Heroes would be around, if not for Ga uh, Grand Arena. I feel like it's the heart heartbeat of this game. But I do feel like they stopped innovating. The problem with CG that I've noticed is like once they do something good, they just, Stop innovating. The, the, the game mode really hasn't changed. Uh, they've added a few more teams you need on defense, and really the only thing that changes is just the meta landscape that just naturally happens throughout the game. There's so much they could do with this game. I'm glad to see they're at least, you know, they did something for a couple months. I don't know if that's what we needed. But nonetheless, I guess it's uh, that's the most they've ever done. But there's so much they could do with Grand Arena, and I hope uh, Scopely puts their best foot forward to try to innovate the game mode. I mean, they, the thing about it, you got to give Scope at least a little credit here. Yeah, some things fall flat, uh, but at least they tried. With uh, with our game, we don't really try. <laughs> we don't really have the developers that try. They just kind of, they, they're a little too comfy being the only Star Wars game on the market. So they don't, they don't have to put 100% effort. They put pretty, I don't know, 60% effort into the fields. Like, we know the developers have the potential. It's probably the higher-ups that kind of hold them back a little bit. All right, let's see if we can try to do this Jedi Knight Revan battle. What's our stamina looking like here? Um, all right, we're getting steamrolled. Let's hope we can survive for a moment here. I'm going to go ahead and clear the foresight. Let's see if we can try to... Here we go. Heal ourselves up a wee bit. Almost there. They're going to clean up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Stick with me. Don't die. 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 Do we have advantage? We do. Let's go ahead and hit that savior. All right. We got the savior triggered. Thermal detonators popping off. Uh, let's get some advantage back on our team here. There we go. Yoda down, but he could definitely come back. What the heck does this do? I don't even know what Constricted does. Let's see. I never use it. No, no, no. Okay. Is it, it's off the target ally or just... I could pick an ally. Nah, we don't need it on... No, no, no. Not here. Okay. Hmm. What is this? Speed? Defense? Ah, uh, you know what? It's actually not that big of a problem, Kylo. I kind of want him to be slow, so we have a long and a long taunt. Let's see what we can make happen here. We have advantage. I say we just keep lugging along that turn meter. Let's get a little choo-choo up in here. Okay, another taunt. Good stuff. All right, let's hit him. There we go. Hopefully, I can try to get around. Oh, that sucks. That's a little unfortunate. All right, I need to get a... They're going to revive Yoda no matter. Oh, did they use the revive? I don't know. Right, I'm going to see. Mm, that's not going to stun him. Oh, I should have used it. Oh, well. Okay. I need to get Hux back up around. Do we have a cleanse? Do we have a cleanse? We do not. No cleanse, unfortunately. Um, oh. Do you not revive here? Well, that works out. I'm not going to complain. Okay, let's see what we can make happen. Let's go ahead and pop this up. All right, ping him. Get some tenacity down. That should make it a little bit easier to land some hits here. Do a basic... All right, Larry getting marked down. Looks like Revan had enough of him. Let's see if we can maybe get a healing unity. There we go. Another basic. There we go. 
Ah, eh, don't worry, don't, don't, don't. There we go. All right, we are chugging along. Can't revive in this battle. Well, that works out for me. The modifier in the battle prevents that. Well, that's good to know. Fantastic news. Okay. There we go. Good stuff. All right, who else did I miss here? Darth Jar Jar. How we doing, my friend? Sorry for the delay. Glad I can catch up with you. Let's see what a data disc looks like here. Stacking offense. Uh, whenever an ally scores a critical hit, all enemies gain five. Oh, oh all my... I thought it said all enemies for a second. Like, why would I want that? Uh, that's actually kind of interesting. Well, primarily, my teams are critical hit based. Hmm. Let's go for it. Larry's always going to be assisting and most likely landing critical hits, so why not? Oh, these are some really weird data disks that we have going on or haven't found anything super ideal, it seems like. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, where were we here? Let's uh, wrap up here with a few more super chats because you guys are, man, I had a lot of fun today. I'm always having fun with you guys. But like I say, today felt, uh, I think it was the, I think it was the Inquisitor that really got me inspired. It's just like, I got like, I had like a lot of energy. Uh, today, after the Grand Inquisitor shenanigans. Uh, Jar Jar, how are you doing? Again, I said that for five times in a row. I hope we see a Jar Jar in Kenobi. Uh, you know what? Might be possible. Or some sort of Gungan. What I'm hoping for. Yo, tomorrow, Morrison, they have a job secured in Disney for a long time. <laughs> There's always going to be a clone that needs a the tomorrow Morrison. So I have a feeling. Uh, I, I think we're going to see Rex. I think we're going to see Rex at some point. But Jar Jar, I would definitely. Uh, I wouldn't be blindsided. If it happens, so I'm kind of with you on that matter. Jakers, how are we doing? Five dollars. Have Gary contact the Imperial Engineers. Must be a problem with the like button. Only 1.1 billion. I know. Four billion. The domination was through the roof today. I guess, you know, we got to work on our marksmanship. I think we have too many stormtroopers that were watching the stream today. But thank you so much for rounding up the troops. We have Matthew Town. Uh, anything I got you, congrats on that. Crew hold. And then any of GOTB today or scam quest? Uh, today. Let's see. When's the next time we stream? Saturday. Let me see, see, see. I mean, we, let, me, let, me, let me check, make sure, because I was supposed to have, supposed to have a shindig here. Let's see. Okay. Are we, uh, oh, do you want to do, do you want to do a little bit of GOTB? We could do it. I'm not particularly motivated, but I have to do it one way or another. So let's take a look. If you want to do it, I'm here for you. Benjamin Tech, Law LLT, you better believe it, baby. Uh, who do we have for next, Jason? Let's check it out. Let's see what we got here. Uh, no, 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 no. Chances are, yeah, there we go. So Caps King. I'm still getting used to the whole new guild that I'm in. I moved up and I need the whole long story about my guild breaking up. I think they're the guild leader inside of my current guild. It's nonetheless, fantastic person that I've uh, had the brief opportunity to speak with. Let's see what we're looking at here. 10.25, ooh, baby. I got a lot of oomph. They got a lot of oomph in the roster. Okay, nice lifetime score. It's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a good indication like where they were before all this happened. So that's going to be uh, Saturday, I believe. There is a slight, slight chance we might do it early on Saturday. Apparently now this weekend, the lady of the Star Destroyer wants to invite her family over since last week my family was over. So you might have to adapt or die around that situation here. Uh, let's go pick up our crystals real quick. We're going to go walk around inside of the shipments. I can for sure should be able to at least do a couple of TV battles before we start uh, running out of time here. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and sign into here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Very nice. Let's see if we can go ahead over here. And three, two, one. Very nicely done. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up our crystals that we have going on here. One, two. All right. I think I'm, I'm going to try to hoard up some crystals. How long? How much longer are these packs in the store? Hold on. Let's see. Four more days. I, mm, I think I can get enough. Yeah, we probably should get enough to buy at least one more Electrum Conductor pack. And who knows? Maybe I'll get 20. And that'll really speed things up here. Oh, let's see. We got to be burn off some fleet energy. I like to just buy, not buy, but the, pick up some random Zimbital card stuff that I'm going to need down the road. So we're trying to... Uh, there we go. Sure. Why not? There we go. Five pieces. Not too shabby. 
Not too bad. All right, let's do some quick TB stuff here. We're going to do double TB action. We're going to do the free to play, although there's not really much the free to play over here. And then we'll get to the pesky Geo TB that we got over here. All right, where are we at here? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, let's see. Light side. I don't really have a lot of light side team, so it's pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty much just Phoenix and Bust. All right, we don't really have it. Yeah, not a lot of light side teams, so I think we might just have like one battle here. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can make some magic happen over on this side. There we go, full auto. Where are we at here? Okay. Why does this look all weird? Why are these still grayed out? Okay, I'm. All right, whatever. All right, let's see what we got here. We have, let's see, G Galactic Republic Jedi, light side, light side. What else do we have here? Jedi. I am not remodding for cam mission today. I'm not that, not that invested in cam. I don't think my guild will care that much if we don't put 100% effort into it. Let's see, let's do our light side ones. Let's go ahead and use our Bad Batch. Let's do Bad Batch Ray. And then we'll just do our clone troopers with uh, Shock T on the south. Let's see, yeah, 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 yeah. And let's get Raid Shadow Legends up in here. All right, let's go for it. Send it on in, three, two, one. Close out the Boomer Calculator. And let's get a double, a double party here. Ooh. Gary, the screen, oh, wow. Gary, uh, he's, he's still mad at me today. <laughs> see what happens when I don't like reach chat for like five minutes. Like I'm like, I'm all in like, hey guys, look at this guy. Look at what we're doing. You guys can't see anything that we're doing. <laughs> All right, where are we? Let's go ahead, top off the crew here. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a little stun, barely an inconvenience. I'm gonna go ahead, fist these droids, get some days going here. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and try to ping them. All right, now B2 is probably gonna be a little antsy pantsy here. Yeah, you guys, you guys are, you guys are bonafide. I hate B2s, but the living passion absolutely despise them anytime i'm having a good day they have to stomp on my parade well what do i want to do here I, I don't i can't do defense up right now so i gotta i don't know do that there we go come on let's get some hits in here there we go all right let's just keep us topped off because i'm gonna wait until we get these b2s out of commission let's try to swap it out over the text so we could try to get to another cleanse here there we go one hit two hits and uh, just do a basic all right they're out all right, let's work on over the B2 number two. Okay, send it on over. Three, uh-huh, two, looking good. Yeah, you, listen, I, I'm gonna be the last one that laughs here. Now we have to be very careful here. We do not want these sniper droids going out of control. Can we stun them? Probably could have targeted B1. I got a little nervous there, that's fine. We should be good now. Let's go ahead and taunt up. There we go. All right, let's see if we can do a double tap over here. One tap, again, two tap. All right, and let's uh, pop lock and drop it. There we go, beautifully done. Ooh, we gotta make sure we don't screw around. Let's keep this on over here. Get him out. Oh, get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out. No, 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 no. Oh shoot, get him out. Oh gosh, we're good, we're good. Let's keep a steady stream going. All right. Whew. Okay. Let's go off these V2s again. One hit. Two hits. Three hits. Ooh, sudden whirlwind. Honestly, I don't think that's going to help me out as much right now. Let's uh, hold it. Probably give it over here since he's probably going to be taunting in a moment. Mm, here's what I'll do. I'm going to do this instead. Three. Two. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Uh, all right, he's gonna taunt. Let's just yeet him out. Three, two, Yay! one. There we go. They're yeeted. All right, let's see if we can try to clean this up. B2's gone. Probably should have targeted a different B1, but oh well. Let's just do a double tap on basic. One, two. Good stuff. Swap it over to Echo. Okay. There we go. One hit, two hits. Great multi attacks right there. Let's go ahead and just pump some turn meter through our team. Good stuff. Basic. AoE. Good. Beautiful. I'm not even gonna bother with that. Go ahead and get rid of that B1. Okay. Uh, too bad I can't heal up Ray. That would be really nice if I could. There we go, basic. 
Basic, come on, keep it going. Get no defense up needed. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's go ahead and do basic over here. And three, two, one, boom, get him off. Whew. Keep it rolling, baby. Where'd you get the mall saber and how much? Oh boy. There's this back backwater planet. You probably, if you were flying over a couple parsecs, you'd probably miss. That's how backwater this planet is. It's called Batu. Kind of a skeevy little port. Got a bunch of smugglers, pirates, bounty hunters, people dressed up in weird helmets. But there's this little shop between you and me. Don't tell anyone. It's our little secret. There's a little store called the Den of Antiquities. I don't know how they do it. You want a mall saber? They got it. If you want a dark saber, somehow they have multiple dark sabers. Are they Chinese knockoffs? I don't know. Frankly, I don't even care. But I believe it was like what? For 199, 1250, something like that. And a pretty penny, that's for sure. You too can wield the power. But you gotta act fast. Or else you know, someone else might get there before you, so. You didn't hear from me. Top secret. Oh, what do we wanna do here? I don't even know if I wanna do it. They don't have a good situation here. I just do basic right now. I actually I should have done the AOE, I'm an idiot. Should have gotten the defense up. All right, misplay right there. I screwed the pooch on that. Let's see if we can try to get rid of this guy before it gets a little too crazy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You know what? Just get rid of that. There we go. All right, we're looking good. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's try to clean us up. Hopefully we have another buff the spell somewhere in the bag here. Uh, this is this, this doesn't have a buff the spell, right? No, 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 no. Yeah, that's not gonna help me out. Uh, you know, we've already made it this far without the defense up. Might as well just keep on going. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this dude. Three, two, one. All right, I don't think I have any more light side teams, unfortunately. Yeah, hey, we could try this. Hey, you know what? Hold on. Why not? Let's see if they can maybe make something happen here. All right, I'm gonna try swapping it over here. Let's see if we can try to get a stun on that Droidica. Boom, locked in place. And let's see if we can try to get our bonus protection topped off here. Hmm, let's make record taunt, cause this might hurt. Basic. There we go, good timing. We're not gonna waste our time with that. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, just do basic for right now, it might hurt. Go for it, have fun, Han. Under stealth. Bonus protection, let's keep it up. There we go, come on. There we go, there we go. And they're down for the count right there. Good stuff. Uh, Jakers in the chances I use Rebels with Ray and Shock with Bad Batch, you could do that too. I've done Shock here. Uh, I don't quite need Shock, but it's, it's, the nice thing is you have a lot of flexibility with Ray. Ray, I've thrown her Scoundrels, I've thrown her with Rebels, I've thrown her with Clones. You got a lot of leeway with using this character. It, it's not all that bad. All right, let's start working through this guy a little bit. All right. All right, a couple of nice hits. Might as well pop the ultimate. Oddly enough, this team is actually kind of not 100% trash, surprisingly. Let's go ahead and do this now. We're not going to get any stuns, but at least we got our defense up. All right, that guy shouldn't be a problem anymore. We got to start working on the sniper drill before they ruin my day. Okay. All right, Ray taking heat. Oh, boy, we need a turn. Uh, I need a turn. Yeah, we're. Uh, I would love to have a. Holy cow! How are they running such a massive train around me right now? Okay, well. But there we go. Pull it off. There we go. Tons of turn meter. Stun the droid the cuz. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go and unleash the yeets. There we go. Yeet has been unloaded. Okay. Mm, ah, just get rid of it. I'll give you a turn again. Don't worry. I got you, buddy. I got you, buddy. Okay. And I want to get rid of you. No, no. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, shoot. That's not the one I wanted to get rid of. All right. That's fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. At this point, probably could full auto it. Full send over here. Get the droid out. Three, two, one, one. And. Oh. 
Try to get one and one and there we go. Have fun, boys and gals. Oh, come on. You guys are doing so good over here. Hold on. Hold on. I don't think I have the revive on Jolie. I don't have the Zeta on him. No, we don't have the Zeta. Wow. I forgot how trash this ability was before the Zeta kicks in. Okay. Maybe. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold. We're going to pick it on over here for a moment. Basic. Keep in mind, gear 13 did not exist when territory battles came out. Gear 12 was the new kid on the block here. Wow, not a single debuff applied. Yikes. All right, come on. All right. Where's my counters? Why don't I get counters? All right, let's go ahead and smack them. Good. Come on, Han. Let's go, Han. No, we're going to save that. I think we're getting through this. There we go. There's my counter. There we go. Basic one. Okay. Two, three, good stuff. All right, already. Let's keep it going. Selka Sin, two months. I already got you, the mall saber. Uh, we have a, a UOB, $2. I like to use my Lord Red for SLK or Sith Eternal solos. You know what I'd rather have? I'd rather have him be a menacing defensive team like Kenobi. Like, I honestly don't understand how sometimes people take Kenobi on offense. I did it like once or twice, and yeah, you feel like you have the power of the world, but I like to make sure you have to trade something really darn good. Like, even the even the Padme Commander Tano thing, it's like, what does that mean for me? It means they're putting either a weak Kenobi down on defense, which I'll take, or they're not putting Kenobi down on defense at all, which I'll take as well. So it's even like in those situations, man. You know, with Lord Vader, I mean... Uh, just the amount of amount of stuff you got to put in his team. Oh, man. I got to say that was really darn close. Not too shabby. Not too shabby for a leftover team there. But just like, uh, it's like it's weird. because I, I don't want him to be good because then I have to actually put a good team against him. But I want him to be good because I'm selfish and I want him to like eat up more wins on defense. We rarely get Lord Vader hold. Very, very rarely. But yeah, nonetheless, yeah, SLKR, he could solo those, but... Why not just put more GLs down on defense and just use Jedi Knight Revan to get through it? You know what I mean? So. It's an option, though. It's definitely an option, but the... For the, the latest Galactic Legend, it's kind of a lackluster thing to do. Especially when technically you can... Apparently, Wampa can solo some Sith Eternals out there. So it's not the most impressive thing, but it's something. Oh, gosh. All right. Let's do, uh, I have actually time for one more quick battle here. Can we even do this? I don't think we have the, the... yeah, we don't got it. We don't got it. All right. So I think it's pretty much, oh, wait, hold on. Uh, actually we can't do anything up here either. We don't have a light side. I mean, we kind of do, but we don't. All right. Let's see. Yeah. I actually don't have it. All right. So I guess that's it for the free to play. I'm a lot more active in the dark side, GOTB or the uh, light side, uh, the freaking dark side, hot territory battles. All right, I have enough for one more. What do you guys want to see? Do you want to see? We could do Kenobi, Jedi Master Luke's, um, Rebels. I want to see Mon Mothma, or I can just go YOLO cam mission, but I, I, am, I am not remodding for the cam mission today. I'm just not. I you put Padme with Commander Tano. I'm JMK, Bad Badge, good trait. I mean, here's the, it, it, if you're like, here's the thing. Like people say, oh, Lord Vader's amazing. I ask them what the vision they're in. They're like, oh, I'm in Chromium. Or I was like, okay, well, it makes sense why Lord Vader's great for you. It depends. In my neck of the woods, I think it's a bad idea. Splitting up Kenobi and Commander Ahsoka. Town. It's, it's the best defensive team we have in, in the game. It's like you almost, you have to trade a Galactic Legend for or two shot it. Or you got a YOLO Padme. And even the Padme thing, as I said, I know it works. It's just something I would never trust. There's just better things i'd like to do than screw around of kenobi and uh but if you're somebody that doesn't have kenobi or let's say for example you only have kenobi and you got your padme and you got your cat and you want to maximize it like okay that makes sense then okay you want a kenobi kenobi can practically be anything even kenobi without commander sogatano beats lord vader look up the data some people didn't believe me they looked up like holy cow i didn't realize he was that bad yes you don't even need the commander tano to beat the mall teams out there with lord vader that's how troublesome it is and then you can do Padme Cat. So, like, here, it depends. For someone like me, we're pretty much, you're playing a full-on war. You have the full entire war chest. I don't like that strategy. I'd rather just, because when you put Kenobi down with the full crew, you got to put something really good at it. Or you got to dig really deep into the roster to put something like the Padme Commander Tano thing and hope for the best there. 
Uh, did we play it? We did play Ice Age Fire. The Kawhi got the bigger drops here. Bam with Dash? I, I tried it. Okay, we could do Bam with Dash, maybe. Let me see here. JML, Bam. i seeing a couple people ask for Bam. I haven't, I haven't ran Bam in a long time. It's not an ideal team uh, for this, but all right. Well, we'll I don't think my guild needs me to four out of four. Usually it's like not until the last the last phase where I kind of need to actually put some effort into it. All right, uh, I'll do it for you all. Let's do it. Let's take a look at our scoundrels. Mm, let's see, we're gonna have you. Uh, let's do you. I, yeah, you, 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 you. Yeah, why not just throw Commander Tano in here? Why not? Could be fun. Oh, come on. Why is my board not working? Hold on. Bam. Bam. Why is there a delay? It's just, I need my... Where's my mixing deck? Hold on. One more time. Hold on. Bam. Bam. Why is it so delayed? Bam. 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 Okay, this board's not good enough for mixing. I need to get my other mix... My DJ table. Wait, wait, wait. Bam, 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 bam,
again! We're only halfway done, guys. Let's keep it going. We're gonna keep singing the song until Beskar Mando gets that four out of four. If it doesn't happen, I'd be worried if I were you. Bam, 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 bam. How do I deal with it? Hold on. I gotta focus here. Sing it! A bam, bam. I put 129% effort into that number, and that's the best you could do for me. You know what? Since we're here, I, I, I can't even do Kyle Katarn. I can't even do my Kyle Katar. You gotta be kidding me, Bam. I made a whole song for you, which is probably the most attention you've ever gotten from me. You know what I do wanna do since we're here and I'm mad now? I wanna try out our Radis. Why not? Here we go. Crank it up. Let's do it, make something happen. Raditz versus whatever crap is gonna be sent against me with the new resistance bomber. Let's make some love happen right now. Here we go. Let's hit it. All right, so we're just gonna cool down. We're taking heat, we're taking heavy fire. It's doing a good job. Wow, what a great ship. Wow, 10 out of 10. Would recommend again, hell to the no, no. I don't even know what I want to do right now. I just do this right now. Okay. Cool down. Smashing them. Let's go, go, go. Coming in hot. There's a spot. It's looking pretty gnarly. It spared us for the moment. We're going to call it a reinforcer here. We can go one of two ways around this rodeo here. I need to get some more resistance onto the field. We got to do a couple of these. A couple of spinning tricks should get the job done. Hit another special, reducing the cooldowns. 
No specials on Poe, Daddy. All right. Eh, they're going full on attack, though. Tarkin being the jerk that he is. Clenching some cheeks. We got a nice dodge. Poe, thank you for your service. And it's looking pretty gnarly. All right. Let's see here. You know what? I'm going for it. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord, I don't know if it's with my RNG. What can I do here? What can I do? You know what, Ray? Here's what I'm gonna do for you. I'm giving you some of this. I'm giving you a pat on the back. This is the moment. The moment to shine. No, no, there is no resistance for tomorrow. It's now or never. There is no plot armor. I don't know who wrote your script. I'm writing it right now. These guys, you know what? I'm taking a trip out there. Come with me, y'all. Enough screwing around. Ray, it's time to wake up. There's no Kathleen Kennedy to save you. It's now or never. I probably don't want to go too far off the star of the shore. Are you listening to me? These! Gotta go down one by one. <laughs> this ain't no mom and pop ice cream shop. Heck, now it makes sense why Leia was able to breathe in space. Fresh air up here. You should, you guys should come out once in a while. Get out of your jets. Get out of your ships. Pull open the hood. Get a breath of whatever else is out here. It smells pretty darn good. How do fires happen in space? I don't know. If I told you, I would probably get killed as well. It's a secret that the Jedi don't want you to know. Here we go. Put it in the chat. We have buffs out of our mind. We got whatever the heck this thing is called. What is it called? Thrust reversal. And then we got this right now. We're going to spell all the buffs on us. We're dealing physical damage to all enemies. This attack is going to do 30% bonus damage for each buff dispelled. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have the beloved attack formation. 100% more damage. Ray, now is the time. To unleash your full power, your full potential. No one knows your name. Here it is, guys. Shell, y'all. I think I'm gonna just end it right there. I, uh, it's, it feels kind of like how it was before of the resistance fleet. Not impressing me. Definitely a clear winner. Where, where, where are you at? Now she's hiding on me. Show yourself. Show, yeah, there you go. You're uh, hiding up there. Hold on. Say it with me. I should have said bam. Hold on. Crank it up. Trash! Waste of dinero. Ula, swap the pinions. All right, y'all. Enough screwing around. This ship is definitely not flying like an eagle, I'll tell you that much. I, the thing I have a problem with this ship here. It's just, you know, the tight echelon. Boom, 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 boom. You wanna you wanna see a night and day difference here? What if I told you to relic nine Tika? Alright, don't don't you dare tap me. In the hot tub listening to the bam bang says <laughs> David Ryan. <laughs> Keep it going, baby. I actually am gonna listen to nothing. Not gonna lie. I felt something with that song. 
I mean, I just want to do a quick resist uh, for finalize, but like, I just want you to pay attention to the sheer amount of regeneration this ship has. Absolutely bananas. The night and day difference of survival, like the resistance. It's like it's not doing anything. It's just sitting there getting beat up to death. Yeah, here we go. Let's get our first order here really quickly. Just to show you how I just, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Give me anyone. I don't care. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, anyone else uh, want to join in on this party? What I normally throw in here, I throw in Gar sucks and right here. Uh, just go in there. Because I just want to make the point clear just like how beautiful the survivability is in this high echelon. It's like they had the intern fresh out of high school make the resistance bomber and freaking Michelangelo designed the high echelon here apparently. Uh, what are we doing here? Uh, just quickly. Here we go. Go to get smashed up. Okay, fine. Let's do our this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A little ping here. Gonna eat it up for breakfast. Okay. It looks like we're down for the count. No, we are not. Uh, we're actually in a pretty good situation here. Uh, what do I do here? I do this, right? Pushing the turn meter. All right, we're going to get hit. Getting the turn meter. Beautifully done. And we're still alive. Look at that. We went from near death to full health back to near death. Let's go ahead and do this here. Uh, let's see if we can try to heal up. Look at this. Like, look at this night and day freaking difference here. Pumping the turn meter through our veins. Look at this. This ship is just a whole different breed. Whole different breed of survivability on this guy. There, look at it. It's back up. The resist, it just does nothing. It just, yeah. Uh, what do I do over here? Uh, we do this, right? We do this. Bring this guy in here. Jacking up the potency. Decreasing tenacity. There we go. There we go. Beautiful day. Nice day here. All right. We're going to get some turn meter, hopefully, to our yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and do this just for the funsies of it. Uh, let's see if I can just light this guy up here. Almost there. Uh, let's go ahead and get a nice assist going. He's out. My gosh, I'm really mad that Chimi didn't give me the opportunity to try this out in Grand Arena today. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. Probably should have done target lock on the basic here. Okay. All right, they're gonna get that taunt up, which is fine and dandy. We're just gonna keep chugging that turn meter along. Do our basic. Maybe I get a nice hit. No, not too much. Okay, target lock would be nice. Burn off the taunt while you're at it. That's fine by me. Uh, how do I want to go about this? You know what? Uh, I think we just keep chugging some turn meter along. Oh, oh, all right. Well, that's going to really bust my butts there. All right. Well, we're going to try this instead. Do this. Oh, I should have run Gar sucks in my bad. That was a painful dodge. Ah, oh, come on. All right. Get out of here. Get out of here with this trash. Dodges, resisting. Man. Well, still nonetheless. Would have been pretty cleanable if this was a grand arena. Here, let's try this again. Come on. Let's try to get you back over. No, oh, okay. Can I get Gar Sucks in here? I screwed that up. I should have brought Gar Sucks in here. Oh. All right, do it. Hit another Haunted. Give me the offense up. But look, the point I'm trying to get it for this battle is look at the durability of the ship here. Yeah, I screwed that up. I screwed the pooch on that one right there. Should have brought in Gar Sucks. But nonetheless, the point being is look at our ship. It's just like I sometimes forget it's there. It's doing its job. It's staying, look at it. It is full health and extra protection on top of it. This ship is beautiful. They better not nerf it. This thing was a work of freaking art. I don't know, now we bring in Gar Sucks. A little too late for it, but let's see. Can we try to get a, there we go. Well, at least they got it at this point. Oh, let's see if we can try to, I don't know, put some turn meter to us. Do a couple double taps at this point. Do a little target lock on the basic. There we go. That hurts. Weird reinforced, but Kylo's Kylo taking a hit there. And that's going to put him down for the count. Let's see. There it is. Okay. Ignoring my misplay. Holy jeez. CG just broke. All right. Well, <laughs> I, I guess they buffed the executor, everyone. <laughs> they literally. They literally, they buffed the exact card to annihilate your game. <laughs> he literally just broke the game. Well, there you go. Uh, executor buff confirmed, everyone. If it instant kills with the Death Star, just, just shut it down. Shut their games down. It's the only way to stop the tie Echelon counter from operating. Well, I guess that's a good way of uh, stopping the conversation right there. Point being, besides them wanting to buff the executor to stop this echelon, this ship is just so dang good. So, 
I gotta say, this game crashes a lot, but that was probably the best time crash I've ever seen play in this game. And perfect, theatric, doesn't get much better than that CG. I actually, I, I don't even know if I would be mad. I don't even know if I would be mad if they actually coded it, so just crash the game, shut it down, stop them. They're doing too good. Uh, is there gonna be a highlighted grander in it? Most likely, I know I'm behind on a couple, but I still haven't posted the past two. Might not get to all of them, but yes, yeah, there'll definitely be a highlight. We had a lot of fun today, so in case you missed it, I try my best to get the highlights out for as many as I can, but we've been kind of busy with a lot of stuff right now in Galaxy. As oddly enough, I feel like it's been uh, quite busy Galaxy Heroes wise, even though there hasn't been a lot. You know, I want to keep on the main screen. Yeah, there we go. Just a little reminder. <laughs> Is it possible to double like Dragonite Gamer? I wish it was. I love Dragonite, by the way. That's nice. All right, guys. I think we're going to wrap it up. There's no better way to end the party here. That was just way too much fun right there. But nonetheless, Echelon Fantastic Ship, please CG. Don't nerf it. Don't buff the Executor. Just come on. This Executor is still good. It just has a, a, it's got another kid that's willing to stand up to. The Malevolence is like that kid at the playground who's reluctantly trying to stand up to the bully. But we all know that the guy's got nothing. He's got no ammunition to really put up a fight. The Echelon and the First Order are like a new kid. You know what? David versus Goliath, but you know, it at least has a shot to try to get that one hit wonder more consistently on the Executor Goliaths. I have my, my hope is that they are not too antsy pantsy about this whole entire thing, but that's CG. Want to take a picture with it? All right. Here, want a quick picture? You can put it on your fridge. Tell your mom, this is what you guys did today. And it was very important that you missed school or you were watching us over the lecture. So here, let's maybe, no, no, get this out of here. Here we go. Go. A little bit here. There we go. A little smile. How many, how many poses do you guys want? Ooh. Any more? Ooh. 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 There we go. Million dollar game, million dollar man right here. Guys, thank you so much for coming out today. Absolute blast of a grand arena. And simply, mathematically, scientifically. Although I said earlier, it's healthy to have debate in stars. It's okay if you don't love everything with 100% loyalty. But the one thing that is scientifically proven, undeniable fact, there is no debate about it. You guys, simply amazing. Always love hanging out with you. Absolute privilege. Hyper Cup High Rollers oh, going above and beyond the Imperial Call of Duty. We keep these lights on 25 for one extra hour, one extra day of partying hard around here. Big shout out to Larry for keeping things afloat. Shout out for Gary for being some of the punch around here. And a big shout out to the chat, slowly coming up on the hologram projector. Man, you guys are something special. Thanks for putting up with my shenanigans. Hopefully you guys had a little bit of fun today. And why don't we go ahead, can we play that BAMP song one more time? On our way out, that was a, I normally hate that song. Yeah, there we go. You ready, Kylo? We're gonna, we're gonna BAM our way out of here. Here we go. Oh, you feeling the power? You feeling it? Whew. Here we go. Hmm. You ready for it? Bam. Incoming bam, donation. Bam. 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 We got Ice Age Fighter, Takumi, Kyber, come song for the outro. We're playing the Bam song now. Next time, I promise you. But in the meantime, Bam. 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 Bam, bam, Kylo, hutch to, wanna dance, hutch to, come on, hutch, hop, hop, yeah, oh no, hop, hutch, three, two, one, hop, no, come on, hop, 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 no, I'm right here, hutch to, hop, hop, okay, they like, they know they're being streamed to billions right now, bam, 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 drop it,